there. How we doing? Oh, hey, Dylan. Oh my gosh. It is also Elsa. Congratulations, Elsa, by the way. Your, <laughs> your puppet came out so fucking cool. Oh my god, guys. Hi. Okay. I'm just acclimating to the vibes to seeing you guys here. Oh boy, howdy. Has it been a time? Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Is everybody comfortable? Is everybody situated? Vangelis in the house. Hey, how's it going? Also, is this too loud? Am I screaming? Am I <laughs> screaming? This is kind of loud a little bit. What's hip hop happening, everyone? Okay, let me catch up on the chat a little bit. Uh, Mark says my VR software went away with my hard drive. No! What VR software were you using again? That sucks, bro. Uh, certain, uh, well, Kyle says, can you not re-download it or have the key saved somewhere? Oh, they aren't on the official website? Oh, I fucking hate when that happens. It might, you might find it on GitHub, though. I'm sure somebody has a copy of it somewhere. Why is this, what is happening right now? What is wrong with my lenses? Weird. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of slightly distracted because I've designed this mask to have little gaps here, so the heat from my mouth like comes through instead of fogging up my lenses, but right now they're kind of fogging my lenses. What is happening? Hold on. Let me try to push my lenses. Mm -hmm. Up. 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 Oh, you can see them fog up. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. My eyes. Um. Oh. Go away, fog. Okay. Free, forgettably charming in satellites. Hello, guys. What is up? Maybe it's because I just ate hot food. Maybe my body temperature is hotter than normal. What is happening? This is so weird. Maybe I sat the mask too low. No. Sorry, trouble shooting my face. <clears throat> okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wow, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. I was just starting to prepare like an Instagram post. To, like, hey, we're going live. And then I was just like, yeah, fuck it. Ah, uh, fuck it. Because you know what, guys? I... And PMSing. And I am pooped tired, poop silly poop. And I do not have very, very uh, strong wits about me. But I still wanted to come on and hang out because I miss you guys. And I want to, you know, we got this thing going on. And, and that's important, you know? We got to keep the thing going. We said we're going to be here, and I'm going to be here. So thank you guys for also showing up. I'm surprised by how many people are here right now. So yeah, while we have everybody here... Wait, 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 actually... Howdy, 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 howdy. Yeah, you can see the fog, right? Oh, by the way, Kyle and Satellites, I just... Sorry, I was working so much, but I was able to finally ship out your orders yesterday. So I should get to you with, like, five days. The whole gang! <laughs> Vandalist says, I troubleshoot my face before. Very, very knowable. What does that mean, very knowable? Does that mean I, uh, it's an experience that you can also know? It, Poopin poopinous eggy, truly. Those are the adjectives I identify with today. Um, okay, Elsa the Fool says, I rested a little because it's super important. However, I do have three to four look immersive fashion show next month. Wow, dude, that's badass. What the fuck is happening? Mm. Did a oh, a bracer fell over. That is why. Stay up. Stay up. Weird. Okay. Oh my god, shit, you made it! Hi! Long time no see. Oh, Kyle. D is the email janky? The shipped email? I, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Oh, did the email come from my website or did it come from, um, UPS? Eggy gang! Okay, guys. So, while we have everybody here, I do want to congratulate a couple of Eggies on accomplishing their dream supreme. Can I get a confetti in the chat? Woo! So, shout the fuck out 
um, to Vangelis, you uh, successfully accomplished your big fucking project of your amazing video on the first. By the way, I do have it queued up so we can take a look at it. Vangelis is an eggy in this chat, and he does amazing, this is my first time ever seeing his videos, he does amazing content, like, uh, product reviews on toys, like, I, I think mostly Transformers, right? But it's super well done, you can see all the effort, you can see why it was such a challenge, because of the voiceover, the, the, the filming of it, the editing, the, the studying of the, the product itself. Well, it was a tough push for him to do all that work in the week before the first, which was his target date, and he successfully did it, guys. Our egg did it, and his video is amazing. Um, so, we will talk about that in a minute. Uh, we also have Mistake Boy. Mistake Boy released a whole new song on the first, and uh, I also have that queued up so we can give that a listen. And of course, last but certainly not least, Elsa, one of our newer eggies, she uh, what she was like really balls to the wall grinding trying to get this puppet done from Boy and the Heron um, for what was it Anime Boston was it? Um, she entered a competition and she won an award. Let's give another yay! Look at all these eggies, freaking, freaking using like squeezing their brains, like making the most out of their days freaking going for it you know and we love that oh also hold the fuck up um shout out to also uh for kyle kyle thank you so much kyle <laughs> took the time to time code the last uh dream supreme check-in we had uh we spent like two hours uh playing some of my old unreleased music kyle went through and time coded it all so kyle Big confetti to you. Thank you so much for doing that for the Eggies and for me. It would have taken me a long time to figure it out, and I still do need to figure it out, but I just really appreciate you taking the time because I know you're very busy. Kyle, also, I saw that you had sent me an email about um, uh, 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 self-care, but ironically, I've been working too hard to read everything, so I will read that soon. And also, I have a couple other emails from Eggies to respond to. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you for your patience in all things. My workload should minimize in the next two weeks and I can get back to being normal but for now life is intense let me connect again with chat let's see what everyone's saying I'm seeing confettis in the chat oh satellites and 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 Kyle my <clears throat> the the email of shipping came from my website okay that's good to know did it look janky because I haven't seen what it actually previews as I haven't seen what it looks like so I have no idea what it looks like. <gasps> Oriana made it. Hey, Oriana. Yay. By the way, guys, we're going to do kind of like a brief, brief Dream Supreme. We're not going to run on forever, but boy, do I say that every time, right? Um, I am, um, I'm pooped. I'm sleepy. And I have to get back to the, uh, to the recording and mixing of my Dream Supreme, this commission for the video game, uh, RPG Girl. Okay. Everybody has been crushing. I'm reading, everybody happy each other up. Yes, Dylan. Uh, everyone is so successful. And Shay, oh my gosh. Don't even get me started on Shay. Frick my nose itches. Hold on. Ah. Yeah, Evangelist, award-winning puppet. And boy, does it deserve it. Have you guys seen it on Elsa's Instagram? I saw that Kyle commented on it. Um, it looks amazing. I, I don't even know. I can't even imagine what goes into that. You're such a master, Elsa. Um, 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 hold on. Kyle coming in with the finger guns. You're welcome. Thank you. My Oh, Mistake Boy is here. Yay, Mistake Boy. I'm not sure if you heard the shout out, but uh, again, we were talking about your single that just came out on the first. And if it's okay with you, I do have it queued up so we can we'll all watch it together. <laughs> Mistake Boy is checking in, Commander Yolk. Hope everyone is having a nice day. Oh my god, and Saber Like is here. Holy crap, guys! Everybody's here! What is up? Saber like, it has not been two months. Okay. Way to freak me out. I was like, duh. Because time is flying like that. If you if you said that and meant it, part of me would believe it. A good portion of my my thoughts would believe it. Um, <clears throat> uh, Saber like, yes, we did beat the record for live streaming last, last week. Um, hold on, hold on. 
Hold on. <gasps> Forest and Piggy is here. Congratulations on, what was it? Uh, Toad didn't make it, but um, Sloth made it through, right? We were trying to hype up uh, Porcelain Piggy. She had a request that the Eggies support her. It was your character, right? There's like a, a toy competition happening where toys would battle, and we were trying to vote for her, for her, her pick, Toad and um, Sloth, I believe, right? I think, like I said, I think Sloth won. Hold on, fuck. Wow, there's this is weird. There's so many people here today. Thank you guys. That I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so behind the chat. Y'all, y'all talking so fast. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Too much talking. Hi, welcome. Oh, poor some piggy. Yes, Elsa's puppet is incredible. It's on her, uh, her, her, her Instagram. Elsa the fool. I think that's the same handle on Instagram, right? Um, Elsa says a lot of nonsensical glue in dreams. Well, it worked. Your dreams must be strong. Um. Oh, Shay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, sorry, my face is itchy like crazy, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to pick my nose or anything. Yeah, Elsa the Fool on Instagram. One word. She's in, she's so amazing. Um. Oh, also, poor some piggy. No, Fashion Friday, and for everybody, Fashion Friday is actually going to be on the 19th this month. And I'm going to start preparing some content. I'm going to be making some fashion pieces myself. Maybe we can do a live. Maybe it can be just a um, just a video, you know. Um, but there's definitely going to be some fashion-related content coming for me soon in preparation for Fashion Friday. And the next live stream we have will really focus on structuring uh, Fashion Friday and how it'll play out. Marcus says, I have to go, unfortunately. I'm in a, aww. You've been in a really bad mental place this past week, so I'm super pooped and sleepy. Oh, Marcus, I'm so sorry to hear that. Just know, Mr. Marcus, if you ever want to talk about what you're really going through, I remember what your Dream Supreme, the the one you submitted through the website, um, I remember what you had notated. Um, and I just want you to know that no matter how you're feeling, it's okay to be here, you know? And of course, you need to go right now, that's fine. But if you ever want to talk about what you're going through and how you're feeling, um, please know that we are a community to do that. We are here for you. We want to hear what's going on. We want to hear how you're feeling. We are your friends, okay? But, but I totally understand that you need to go. I just want you to know that we got you, right? Let me, let me give you a hug. Come here, Marcus. Big hug. I'm so sorry you're feeling poopy, Marcus. What the fuck? Sorry, hold on. What is happening? The music just got extremely loud. Whoa, sorry. I must have pressed something with some body part. Um, but, uh, I hope you feel better, Marcus. And just know that you're amazing, okay? No matter what. You're amazing. Um... Oh, yeah, look at everybody sending Marcus love. Beautiful. Saberlike says, I was attempting to be out of my old apartment by mo uh, by Monday on Sunday, but I made it out 11, around 11. Jeez. Saberlike says, by which I mean 11 a.m. Oh, my God. By 11 a.m. Monday, was awake for around 35 hours by the time I arrived. Not sure how I did that drive. Oh, my God, that's so scary, dude. Damn, bro. I'm glad you made it, though. Porcelain Piggy says, yes, Sloth made it through, and we will be voting again tomorrow. Sloth still needs support more than ever tomorrow. We are, we are want to get Sloth and Iguana to the finals. Okay, you hear that, Eggies? If we, <laughs> if we want to mobilize Eggie power, I'm sure on Porcelain's, uh, Porcelain Piggy's story, by the way, on YouTube, she goes in the chat here, it's uh, Little Toys Big Stories, which is a kick-ass name as well. Um, she'll be posting about the competition and how we can support her. I'll also be posting about it in my stories. All it takes is we go to this um, other other Instagram's stories, and you know how it gives you like it's like a poll. You can like vote either or. That's how we support her. We vote for Sloth and we vote for Iguana. I'll post about it tomorrow as well. Satellite says, "Are you ever gonna bring back the little 3D eggs to your shop?" I was just thinking about that, dude. Um, so yes, I have. I actually just got paid today, and I'm finally getting ahead of my financial situation, so I can finally buy art supplies, so I can paint the eggies. So yes, pretty soon, as soon as I finish the song commission, I'll start working on the eggies again. 
I have these little 3D figures. They're gonna look a little different than they were last time because the packaging I made for the Eggies last time. Oh, I have one somewhere. I'll have to show you. Um, the way the Eggies were strapped in damaged the paint on the Eggie figurine. So I need to figure out a different way to package the Eggies. Thanks for asking, satellites. Bye, Marcus. Please get some good rest. Yolkness, better stay so focused on this stream so we can listen to that song. I appreciate the reminder, Mark. Do not worry. Uh, yes, Elsa Fashion Friday. I'll give more information about that in a second. Uh, Mark says it's more than just a dream for you. We're looking forward to it. I don't know what you're, you are referring to. Uh... Oh, Oriana, uh, what time will Fashion Friday be? I have work. Oh, shoot. Well, so luckily, Fashion Friday will be an all-day event. And it, we probably won't do a live stream that Friday, but we can do a live stream the following Wednesday. Uh, Fashion Friday will take place on Instagram. So everyone would just post their outfits, what they come up with, on Instagram, and then I will repost it to my Instagram so we can have a slideshow, like basically like a fashion show. Um... So yeah, it's all day. You can just post it whenever. Uh, crap. I'm behind still. Oh, hold on. Poison Piggy says, Thank you to all who voted for Sloth and Toad on the last Battle Beast tournament. No problem. Battle Beast, that's what it's called. Thank you. Uh, Kyle says, Marcus, sending all the gentleness and hope and friendship your way. That is such a beautiful wish. And that that is perfect. <gasps> Experience this. What's up? Thanks for coming. What's up? Feel <laughs> mistake, boy. Feel nice, nice. I see what you did there. Feel nice and good. S soon, Marcus. Yes. Mobilize egg, eggy power. No, no cold, Dylan. No cold. <laughs> you and Mark. You guys. Mark keeps saying that this is a cult, and it's not. In fact, today I was thinking about this earlier. Let's look up the definition of a cult, so we can we can clearly step away from whatever that is. Um. Hold on. Thank you so much, Shay. It's called macadamia. Oh my god, you guys. I have an update. Hold on. Okay. Mistake boy. So many dreams of preems happening simultaneously. The dream ether swooshing all around every which way. It truly is. Oh, it, Oriana, you don't have Instagram. That's okay. If you'd like, you can send it to me. And I can post it for you. Um, or, Oriana, if you would also like, if you don't want to do it publicly, you can send it to me through email. And then we can just review it on a uh, live stream. We could just celebrate it on Wednesday because I wanted to review, not review, but um, I wanted to also show everyone's outfits on the live stream following Dream Supreme. Sorry, following Fashion Friday. So Fashion Friday is when we post on Instagram and then the following Wednesday we'll have another Dream Supreme live stream and then we'll just also display all the looks there so we can just kind of have a party. Um, so yeah, just to clear up, you can email me if you don't want to post on Instagram or if you don't want me to post your outfit on Instagram. This is just for us anyway, you know? Um. Okay. Oriana says, also, are the eggy figurines going to be different outside of the packaging? Probably not, because I did such a limited run. I think I only made five of them last time. A lot of people wanted that type of figurine again, so they're going to be the same in that way. I was thinking about making special accessories, like <laughs> printing a tiny... <laughs> Printing a tiny Dream Supreme notebook. I was thinking about doing that. Or I was thinking about like including like an orange from the orange tree or um, like banner flags or something. Something, some little accessory to go with it to mark this this release and this year and, and our time together. You know what I mean? Um, okay, hold on. And we're almost caught up to chat now, so we can proceed in just a moment. <clears throat> Dylan says a cult is a group which typically led by charismatic and self-appointed leader. Hey, I have not said I'm the leader. <laughs> I'm just a weirdo talking on the internet. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, but by that definition, shit. <laughs> uh, Super like says maybe cult in like the blue oyster cult sense. No, uh, Shay also says a cult is a new religious movement. We rent praising any higher power or leader, so we're different. Oh, we aren't. Right. Thank you, Shay. Frickin' frickin' frick, bro. My nose. My nose is so itchy. Hold on. What is happening? I have the driest nose in the world. Alright. Oh, shit. I just lost my scratching utensil. Um. 
Oriana says, okay, sounds good. I'll email you then. I just got to take pictures. <gasps> Fabulous. And I love the little clown icon. Just let me know in the email, Oriana, if you want me to post it on Instagram or if you don't want me to post it at all. Or if you want me to share it with the Eggies in the Dream Supreme live stream. Your consent needs to be clear. I do not want to accidentally um, do something you don't want me to do. Okie dokie, egg. But I'm so excited to see what happens, Oriana. And I'm so excited to see everybody's look. And I'm so excited. I have so many fashion pieces that I need to... Look. I got these. Did I get these? I got these in Japan. I totally forgot. Look at this. Look at this. So these are like little toy balls, right? They have an inflatable pack on the inside, so they can be inflated, right? But you know what I'm going to do with them? I'm going to make puff sleeves! <laughs> yeah! I got two of each pattern, so I can have a set. And I kind of want to make them like a standalone puff sleeve, so I can attach them to any outfit I want. But that's just an example of what I'm going to be working on for the Fashion Friday. Shay says, we are, we're like a cult classic in reference to movies. Extreme passion and following. Thank you, Shay. And yes, Satellite says we're more like a club. That I completely agree with. Wait, where do we post send in outfits? Sorry, I'm listening. <laughs> Your listening skills are poo. You're totally fine, dude. Uh, so, just to... to and, and don't worry. So right now, it is the third. It is the first Dream Supreme check-in of the month. Uh, next month, uh, sorry, fuck, I'm trying to clarify and then I misspeak and confuse everyone. So this is the first Dream Supreme this month. Next Wednesday, the second Dream Supreme of this month, next Wednesday, we will be focusing on clarifying the, the structure of the Fashion Friday, okay? So that way everything's clear. And just to, to, uh, to reconfirm, Fashion Friday will take place on Instagram. In the stories or in the posts, I will be posting it in my stories. And I'll likely do an actual post, like a slideshow of everyone's looks. We will also be reviewing everyone's looks that following Wednesday for the Dream Supreme check-in. Does that make any sense? I need to make a calendar and put it on the website. So all this stuff makes sense. Because it's all gobbledygook. It's gobbledygook. Um, that was the fool. No egg. Your mind. Okay. <laughs> your mind <laughs> oh man um we're just a party of people bro we're just a party of people too much shocking this is my second time attending and the cult discussion is really fitting to my noviceness here no this is not a cold i swear kyle yeah i think club is a nice way of putting it yes um mistake boy says oh maybe i need to hit the thrift store yes mistake boy uh, little toys, big stories. Actually, we are a clutch of eggies. A clutch of eggies. We're a carton of eggies, is what this is. <laughs> um, oh, my face itches, but I, but I threw it away. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, Kyle, you said the same thing. Carton of eggies. Um. Evangelist says massive bold font. The fashion clarification stream. <laughs> that will be the headline. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Blue made it! Yay, Blue! Welcome to the party! Oh, dude, what is up with today? It's so nice to see everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> Forgettably charming. It's not a cold, it's a political party. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? No, thank you. Oh, gosh, so itchy. What is happening? Yeah, no more cold talk. Um, I, I want to be clear about that because I don't, I don't want this to be a cult. Cult insinuates my, like mind fucking, uh, manipulation. Uh, usually there's like financial, and this is where it gets tricky too, because usually it also means like you're giving that, that leader money. Right. And I think that in the space of 
content creation and, and I know last stream we were talking about Patreon and I've been against it for that reason too because once money gets involved it gets kind of weird I do understand and appreciate the concept of oh there's an artist and then there are patrons supporting the artist it's been that way throughout history of art like but in this dynamic I don't know it's something I have to really think about because I don't uh I I think that what's it called I do see how it could be cult-like, though, because we have our own, like, verbiage. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. Um, we call ourselves something. Um, and, uh, but there's no worshipping happening, right? There's no religion happening. There's no, I never want you guys to, like, uh, lose your autonomy or your sense of self or, um, what's it called? I never want you to put what I have to say above yourself you know what i mean and i'll never ask anything of that guess. i just want to be clear this is not a cult <laughs> this is a party this is just a big old party okay okay now yes dylan no more cult talk Mark says, I once had a friend who made me call her auntie. She was arrested by Homeland Security by leaking CIA info by accident in Germany. Anyway, she once made me an egg carton shrine. That is a wild story, Mark. <laughs> I like all the preface, too. Experiences, hello. Experience this. Experience this. Uh, is there a name I can call you? Uh, are you? Are you on Instagram by a different uh, handle? Uh... Okay, Mark says, I think that weird experience is why I keep thinking the cold things. Yay, people really get into my head. I, oh. Because you had a friend that made you call her auntie? Or the egg carton shrine? <laughs> oh. It, <laughs> yeah, Kyle. Cold stuff is uncomfy. I don't want anything to do with that. Um, and... Little Toys Big Stories. Did we ever do the Castle live stream? No, but we're going to. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. It's just other things have taken a little bit of precedent right now. Um, but we will. We definitely will. Um, let's see. Saber like, we're only a cult in like the blood pack sets. That's true. No blood has been spilt. Um, wouldn't that be freaking crazy? Um, let's see. Yes, we are just friends hanging out. Kyle says, I mean, even specific verbiage comes with nicheness. Also, we're just homies hanging out on Twitter. That's it, bro. That's it. And I take as much advice from you guys as I dish out. So I, I feel like it's like a, it's, it's like a club. It's like a meetup. It's like a, um, yeah, it's a, it's a dream club. Uh, Evangelist says, it's good and respectable to approach streaming, creating, etc. with an awareness of the responsibilities involved. Yeah, and that's that's kind of tough too, because it's like, I forget how I might, how I might appear to other people, but I'm just a person, you know? I'm just a person. And this is, you guys are like my socializing, like, I socialize with you guys more than I socialize with anybody. I do consider you guys friends. But also, I know that that's kind of fucked, because you know how they always say, like, if you're an influencer, I'm, I don't consider myself an influencer, but at what point do I become one, you know? If you are a content creator, you have to be mindful of the influence you have on people. Um, and that's just so silly to me, because I'm like, I'm just a, I'm just a freaking person wearing a mask, making beep boops, like, you know what I mean? I just want to be your friend. That's so, but that sounds fucked, doesn't it? Eh, complicated stuff. Complicated stuff. Vangelis, I'm sure, knows a lot about that whole thing, given your platform as well. Super like... Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> poor, poor Zim Pig says, have we got any new castles to the list? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Saberlike says, this is truly wholesome little group we have going on here. I always look forward to seeing this. Thank you, Saberlike. I also really look forward to these streams. Even today, I am in a lot, of, I don't, I'm in not the, group, but the best of ways, and, and I'm extremely tired. So I was like, oh, shit, I almost canceled. I was like, I don't know if I got it in me today. I don't think I got it in me to put my hair in buns and talk some shit. But um, but then I thought about you guys, and I would, I, I, I miss talking to you guys when we don't do it. So... Yes, I look forward to these two. Um, hold on. Oh, uh, 
cliche says, show off the accomplishments of those dream springs we met. Please, please. Yes, we will move on. Um, really quick, I do want to address what Mark said because it does seem serious. And we want to make sure our everyone's feelings are being covered. Uh, Mark says, the whole ordeal, it was traumatic. My family made me sleep outside and she was the only person who was nice to me. But it was mostly because she wanted an apprentice on teaching manipulation too. That sounds so crazy. And I'm sorry that was traumatic for you, Mark. Um, I hope that, yeah, we can, I hope we never approach anything like that, and we'll steer clear of anything like that, okay? This is just happy fun time group. Um, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so, how am I so far behind? Potatoes with glitter! Um, uh, 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 uh just catching I'm just catching it. Glittery oranges, yes! Ooh, I like the orange emojis! Um, Vangela says, yep, I got experience in Outlook. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, Elsa says, you have influenced me to be more confident on Project My Original Ideas. You're kidding, girl, because I feel the same way. And I, sorry, I don't know what your pronouns are. Uh, egg. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a great neutralizer. Um, dude, I, I have such, a, I feel such an affinity and such a, a resonance with you as well. And your work really inspires me. So, that's so cool to hear. Uh, Aw, Mark, I'm so glad this is your social life. Uh, this is social outlet for you, too. Uh, 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 rainbow tires. <laughs> I like poor some babies just saying <laughs> random, random cool shit now. Uh, Vangel says, I'm fucking exhausted today, too. I think there's something in the weather. Ah, uh, you know, maybe another cold is going around, but you also did work super hard recently, Evangelist. So that makes a lot of sense why you would feel exhausted. Shit. Talked. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so behind in the chat. Oh, you're trying to insert sparkly stuff. I appreciate you, Porcelain Piggy. Um. Oh, Sable says this came at the perfect time. I felt like I haven't had a moment to breathe since the void ship. Yeah, dude, because you just moved and all that craziness. That was three weeks ago. Holy fuck. But it feels like six months. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, I hope you're eating something different than just chips now, too. Um. Mystic Boy says, by the way, I didn't see the title of the stream until now. I'm sorry you're feeling ugh, but maybe we can turn that into a yug. <laughs> uh, which is a more positive sound. A definitely more positive grunt. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. The three weeks exhausted. Wait, 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 wait. Three weeks exhale has finally arrived. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling a little ugh starting off just because I've been working. Let's put this confetti away real quick. Um. Yeah, I've just been working a lot. My workload at work increased. And I've been getting by by taking, like, pain pills and stuff. But my flare-up is also... It's, like, parallel incline. And, um... So... And now I'm just about some up period. So I'm feeling, like... I'm feeling taxed. But, um... I've also been working really hard on the... Uh... What's it called? The commission. So, last stream supreme... My goal between last week and this week was to uh, focus on oh, my strap. Um, was to record all the the tracks, the vocals, the instruments, everything I needed to do for the commission, uh, the RPG girl song. And I'm so close to doing it. Even though I still have to finish tracking the bass, I did the hardest part, which was tracking vocals, which took three days. Because I don't know about you guys who do, who do music, but like the first day of doing music is always for vocals is always dog shit because i don't know i'm still trying to figure out like how i want to sing it how i want that to sound how i want to pronounce different words where the pockets are in the song vocally that i want to sit in and that can take a lot of time and also my voice isn't warmed up it takes like three days for, and singing the song for hours and hours and hours and hours for my voice to warm up enough to sing it well um because I'm not in active performance mode, so my voice isn't constantly ready to go. So, uh, it took about three days to do that, and I've just been squeezing that in before and after my work, and also my the day off that I had. So, um, I'm almost there. I just, after this live stream today, I'll track the bass more. Hopefully, I finish that today. And then I work a shit ton more. Um, but, uh, but, uh, then it's just mixing. My goal is to finish it by this Sunday, and I think I'm gonna do it. So, so. What else? What the heck else? What the, what the, what the, oh, guys! Also, dude! I, uh, 
I, I have a drum kit in my garage, but I've, I've never played a full drum kit, and I've only ever really played with chopsticks. Once in upon a time, I would use a stick, but I'm never confidently, because my drum kit sounds really rough, and I'm afraid of making loud sounds. And Because you have to play really hard to, like, not really hard, but you have to play pretty committed. You have to make a lot of noise on drums to make them sound good sometimes, I feel like. that That's not true. But, um, I don't consider myself a drummer. I literally can barely manage a snare. A hi hat and a kick, but I used my brother's electronic drum kit, and I went fucking crazy, y'all. And I didn't even know I had it in me, and I was going crazy. And I was like, it was like my third eye opened, and all of a sudden I had total awareness of all my limbs in a way I've never done before. I always thought that I couldn't do drums. I always thought I was like, mm, there's no way. But now I'm like, oh fuck, I can drum. Not not super great, but like not bad. So I'm gonna practice that. But it was just like this. It's like, uh. I reminded myself of like, like how important music is to me, you know? So this next chapter, the next few months is going to be super music focused. New music, new music. It's time. Anyway, let me catch up with what everyone else is saying. And then guys, after I catch up with Chad again, we're going to, if it's okay with Mistake Boy, if it's okay with Vangelis, and also if it's okay with Elsa, if you don't mind, um, and anybody else that has anything they want to share, it's the sharing circle time. <laughs> Actually, I want to create a segment with the sharing circle. I don't know what the background will be, but I'm going to figure it out. Anyway, let me know if that's okay with you guys to share your content, and then we'll get to it. Let me just catch up with chat. Let me just get catch up. Hold on. Hold on, where am I? <laughs> Kyle, ugh, hopeful. <laughs> Oh, Elsa the Fool says, weather is weird over here in New England for sure. Supposed to get a bunch of snow tomorrow. It's spring. What, dude? That's crazy. Shay says, just chips. Yeah. <laughs> Saber like posting his stories. He was just living off like corn chips or something. Saber like says, I did have a, I did end up having more food last week. My neighbor kept giving me food. Aw. I love it when, when I'm a stray cat too. Vangela says we got a weird rain over here in Toronto. I had, upper, I had to uppercut a bunch of pressure away from my head when I woke up. What? Oh, that's crazy, dude. Oh, thank you for your power and encouragement, Poison Piggy. Mystic Boy says tracking vocals is such an endeavor. I always get so granular and picky picky. That's such a good way to put it. Granular. Yeah, you get like just micro focused. And it's such a mind fuck. Like, I don't know about you, but I'll start hearing pitch differently. Like, I, I start visualizing weird, weird patterns and shit. Like, and thank you, Kyle, for your encouragement as well. Thank you, Vangelis. Yes, the hard, getting the hardest part done is huge. Now I'm in the last mile of the marathon. Um, for reference, I know this is insane, but I've been working on this song for years. So, so not con consistently through the years, but like pockets of, of, of going for it and then life happens and then, and then, you know, but they, this commission started years ago. So I'm so excited to be able to give it to them. Um, uh, Saberlock says, any idea when you'll resume video game streams? No pressure since it sounds like you got a lot to deal with now. I really want to next week because this week, the Friday is my last chance to finish the song. So I need to do that this week. But then next week, the only problem is I get off work at 6 p.m. So I can try to ask if they'll let me out earlier um, or we might have to start it at 7 p.m. Um, guys, have you guys seen that new Princess Peach game? I really, 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 really want to play it. I love Princess Peach. She's so rad. Um, okay. Mistake Boy. My vocal tracking style is also unique. I'm usually slowing down my tracks to get the sonic quality I want on the vocals. and Whoa! And then speeding everything back up. So if I want to do multiple takes, it's a whole mission and a half. Dude, that's crazy. That's so interesting. What? Little Toys Big Stories. Oh, dude. Mistake Boy, too. I remember when I was younger, and I would try to do vocal recording or instrument recording. I didn't know about low latent latency mode. I didn't know that was a thing. So, I would just try to, like, do, like sing a little bit early <laughs> to, to, to compensate for the latency. Uh, it was brutal before. But then I learned. 
Uh, for some piggy, lots of work, lots of fun, lots of money for fun stuff. <gasps> That's another thing. Thank you for reminding me. Guess what, guys? I'm I've been saving and working my butt off, not only because they schedule me that way, but I'm I'm like singularly focused on getting a car. I want a car so bad, and I'm pretty close to it. After this next few weeks, I should be pretty close. Um, and then it's just gonna be a whole new world, guys. I'm talking vlogs of exploring LA. I'm talking going to shows and meeting people, and just uh, like you guys won't even believe the kind of things I'm gonna do if I got a car. We'd be doing beach live streams. I'll I'll put you on my I'll strap you to my shirt. And we can go skateboarding. We can do a lot. Um, hold on. Uh. Catching up, catching up, catching up. Catching up, catching up. <gasps> Bye, Oriana. Thanks for chopping it. Chopping. Hopping in. Have a great day f at work. Good luck teaching people how to use computers. Oh, yeah. And on the drum, it's our first time I ever used a double uh, kick drum pedal thingy. I didn't get this. I get, didn't get the hang of it, but I definitely I can see why people like it. Okay. And Shay says, in another life, I was a drummer. <gasps> Dude, it's never too late. If you can tap dance the way you can, I really, I really bet you'd be an awesome drummer. I really bet you would be. Evangelist, it's all good with me. I just should do a little preface on the April Fool's thing whenever we get there. Oh, okay. Elsa the Fool. Oh, okay, awesome. We will, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, Oriana says, if you're still on after 4.30, I'll be back. We probably won't be. Just to let you know, that is my goal to not be, because we do have a lot to do. Um, Satellite says, super unserious question. What's your favorite My Little Pony character? <gasps> Interesting question. I've actually never watched My Little Pony. If anybody has a, a favorite My Little Pony, please throw it in the chat. I know, I, I can recognize that I probably seem like somebody who would be into My Little Pony. And no shade on people that like My Little Pony, because to me, you know, what is it? Friendship and magic? Like, What's wrong with that? But, uh, yeah, I've never really seen it. Saberlike says, I saw the producer I worked with, where I worked and record 90 plus tracks with backing vocal, oh, backing vocals, dedication, saying, oh, wow. 90 plus tracks of backing vocals. That's crazy. Shit, fuck. Oh, Little Toys Big Stories. They went all out on the Peach game. Dude, oh, would you guys want to play that with me? Oh my god. I know, I, I still want to do, like, RuneScape. There's so many other games I want to do, too. Like, I've never played Grand Theft Auto. We're definitely going to play Grand the new Grand Theft Auto together. I'll pay for it. I don't care. Um. <laughs> yes, Mistake Boy. The low latency. Jesus. Eggmobile confirmed. I know, I'm so excited. And then, plus, guys, the reason I want to get this car is going to be a Toyota RAV4 um, from uh, 1998. And it, it's just a perfect size, gets it the right amount of gas mileage, and it's a perfect size to put my uh, my music equipment. One of the reasons I'm not doing shows right now is it's really hard for me to get to shows. I only have access to one of my family members' cars, but it's it the, 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 the bass amp doesn't even fit in it. And every time I shove my bass amp in like the back seat, the, the icing rips off. So this way with the Toyota RAV4, I can throw all my equipment in there and just go fucking everywhere, guys. Every fucking where. And I can also do mini tours in that car. That means I can come out to Boston. I can come out to the East Coast in general. I can go everywhere. All right? It's going to be a whole new world, I'm telling you. And then, Shay, when you're in Florida, I can come swing through Florida. All right? It's going to be great. Um, oh, wow. I love how much you guys are chatting with me. Thank you so much. Um, Super like, I have a friend who does music and cutting edge visual stuff uh, using the body as a MIDI controller. Who throws shows in LA? I'll have to get you the info on it. You have a car. Oh, dude, that's really cool. Okay, thank you. Um, Little Toys Big Stories is, is it going to be one of those tiny Japanese pickup trucks? I so wanted it. I looked into those. But unfortunately, I can't. Those ones I don't think would handle the Los Angeles highways very well, and I would need to go to LA and back all the time, and so I need I need something that has coverage cover on the the trunk space for my equipment. But I, I did look into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, hold on. Poor 
Porson Piggy's uh, favorite My Little Pony is Fluttershy. That's a cute name. Yeah, we ain't here to yuck someone's yum. Absolutely not. Um, I love that saying. To not yuck someone's yum. What a kind thing, you know? Uh, too much talking. I finally got to scan some film now. That's my dream supreme to do. Like, scanning all the scene. Dude, seriously? Scan some film now. What does that mean? Oh, too much talking. Uh, do, do I... I, I, I forgot. Um, what is your... May I ask what your name is or what your Instagram handle is? That way I can recognize who I'm talking to. I know, I think we did those last time too, but I forgot. <laughs> oh, don't don't worry, uh, little uh, Portsley Piggy. I am a pro at driving in LA. But, um, but yes, it would... I will, I will take extra practice via Grand Theft Auto. Can you imagine, guys? It's going to be so much fun. So much fun. And if I eventually get VR stuff too, I want to like, I want to go to VR chat, but I'll make a custom like avatar with my mask and everything and the egg ship and we can just go fly around. It'd be fun. Uh, Elsa the Fool says, I am partial to Pinkie Pie, specifically because of the early 2000s online Pinkie Pie party game. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. Now I walk across the to play this. I will do that. Um, 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 shit. I took my notes away. Uh, <laughs> Elsa the Fool, would you put a comment in this video? Not like this chat comment, but a comment on the actual video of that video game recommendation, because it will be entered into the queue. Thank you for making it. Any recommendations are awesome. Um, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Catch it up. Wait, too much talking. Vangelis says, excellent, too much talking. These streams generate a co-working vibe that's really supportive to stuff like that. Thank you for saying that, and I, I do recognize that. I feel the same way. I, I uh, want to do some painting streams, because this big board back here is a giant painting I was working on, and I know that you guys also uh, mentioned that you were interested in something like that before, so we can all have a painting day, or just a like a working on stuff day. And how fun would that be? We all get our cups of coffee, or tea, or whatever, and we just have a time. It'd be amazing. And in that case, it'd be really fun to open up the chat to other people too. So more than just me can be on here. I still need to figure out how to do that. Um, more than just me can be on here and, uh, that way we can actually talk. So it's not just dependent on, uh, me. Because then it'll just be boring for you guys. I'll just be painting. Um, oh, I do still want to do that. Learn how to do the text to voice for the chat here. Because then, because then I could do other things as well. Um, and hear you guys. Hold on. Shit, hold on, hold on. Mystic Boy says, East Coaster here. That's very exciting. And then Mystic Boy, we should do a show together when I come to East Coast. That'd be amazing. There's a lot of people on the East Coast that want to do shows too. I know Saber Like has does events. So that'd be so much fun. Yeah, Shay, I will 100% come see you in Florida when you come to Florida. Let me know. And I even have your Japan giveaway item still too. So I'll just bring it with me. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Shay. I think I have to go. Not feeling great, but it's meringue. But it's meringue night at this local bar, and I'd love to learn meringue. <gasps> oh, yeah, Shay, please rest up. I hope you're okay. It is so nice to see you. I, of course, I need to catch up on your stories today, and I think I missed yesterday's. But I, as always, I'm following you in your adventures. I hope you stay safe and well, and, and have fun learning meringue. Uh... Thanks for coming in, Shay. And just to let you know, Shay, while I have you, um, February this this month, April nineteenth, it's a Friday. We're doing the Fashion Friday, so I'll reach out privately to you as well and let you know more details about it if you don't uh, make it to the next week's live stream. But um, yeah, hope you're doing great. Oh, and for some piggy, oops, I gotta go. Need to go. Need to do work. I'll jump in when I'm done. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for jumping in, and good luck with your work, person, Piggy. Hope you have a great time. Hold on, I think I missed something. Hold on, hold on, I missed something. I missed something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. on <sighs> where am I 
Oh crap, the stream jumped. Uh, too much talking says, oh that would be insane. Does VR stream exist? Yeah, they do. I think they do. Um, so it would be really fun. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, Mystic Boy says, too much talking. Yeah, so a lot of VTubers do VR chat streams. You set up a virtual camera that you can move around. Great for people with avatars. Some people do custom uh, world areas. I don't know the term. I, so what I wanted to do in VR chat was I wanted to make a world that was the egg ship. So anybody that joined me in VR chat, and I think you actually, you don't have to have a VR headset to play in VR chat. You can play on your computer. Um... It just won't be in VR for you, but that's fine. Um, I wanted to make a, a world that's the egg ship, so you can come hang out with me in the egg ship. How cool would that be? It'd be so amazing. CL, hello. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Um. Okay, Shay. It'll be so amazing to see what you're... I love what you do fashion-wise. You're always so fun. So it'll be really cool to see. I'd like to set up a lot of props and spin people around in my VR room. Yes, Mark. That would be amazing. Okay, guys. Guess what? I caught up to chat. That means it's time. Oh, satellite dude. 100% joined. Awesome. So, yes. It is time to review our Eggie's accomplishments. As a as a reminder to anybody that didn't hear me say it in the, in the beginning of the stream, uh, we have... Some Eggies have some major accomplishments, all right? Mistake Boy just dropped his new song he's been working really hard on on the first, and it is a bop. So we're going to listen to it. Um, Mistake Boy, do you want me to play the whole song or just partial? Either way, it's A-okay. I just want to make sure that it works out the way you want it to. And then Vangelis, same question to you. Do you want us to watch the whole thing or just partial? Um, Vangelis also, as some of you guys may have remembered, uh, he was working really, really hard last month in the especially the last two weeks to make this video for april 1st and he did it because he's a professional and it came out professional and it's amazing i'm a big fan now so oh my eyebrow it itches and then last but not least as i had mentioned fuck i can't reach my eyes ah the itch i need like a where's my flathead um i don't know where i left my flathead well, I guess I'll just suffer. Um, uh, our girl Elsa, she was able to complete her uh, Boy and Heron puppet, and it's fantastic. And she won an award, and we're going to take a look at it. Because the work, I know she was struggling and uh, stressed about uh, accomplishing that in time, but she did. So, I mean, these are honestly, like, huge, huge accomplishments by everybody. Um, so we are going to check it out, okay? Okay. So, a uh, Mystic Boy says you can play whatever you want. The visualizer specifically would be cool. It's on my YouTube page. I do have it actually already queued up. So, we will do that. And then, okay, also the whole thing is cool with you, Evangelist. Perfect. All right. You guys ready? <gasps> Let's enjoy each other's efforts. Do, 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 do. Hold on. One second. Um, one second. I know, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little chaos. So, oh, actually, hold on, hold on. All right, let me just, uh, I had to do this weird work workaround because my shit was not working right. Um, oh, no, what happened? Hold on. What happened? Roundness? Oh, hold on. One second, y'all. One second. One pop up. Ah, perfect. <laughs> there. It was. <laughs> so normally I have two different cameras set up. Um, 
that means they have different properties. Uh, but my OBS is just being more like BS. So I had to adjust the filters. Okay. Cool transition. Thank you. Okay. Really quick. Catching what you guys are saying. Vangela said, I also, I had mistake boys new track aloof for a bit when it dropped. It's solid. Yeah. Did we confirm your setting? No, no, we're good, we're good. Um, I actually have not listened to Mistake Boy's track all the way through, because I wanted to listen to it with you guys. Okay, ready? Hold on. Where is it? Here it is! Okay, so we're going to turn that up a little bit. Okay, let's let's do it. So this is Mistake Boy's new song he just made, and this is the visualizer. It's called Feel Real. So please go subscribe to him on YouTube. You can see right down there. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to support our little egg. We're going to go, boom. What the fuck? How am I not subscribed to you? Disrespectful. I'm so sorry. Now I am. I swear to God. Okay. Ready? Let's listen. good dude wait also what your uh fun fact there is an error in the visualizer for some reason i left some automation on the capybara goes behind the rock the first three seconds hold on let's, let's watch that again hold on hold on goes behind the rock wait did i miss it oh <laughs> capybara is like i'm gonna step back <laughs> yeah. Wait, is Capybara supposed to be behind the rock or in front of? That's so funny, dude. That song is so fucking good. I'm I cannot wait to listen to it more. It it gives me kind of like a Chow Garden vibe too, um, but but in your own style, in your own way. It's so relaxing. I love it, dude. The textures, the mixing, it's so nice. I know you said it was an oldie, but boy, is it a goodie. Congratulations on your release. And the visualizer is really cool, too. I know you made that. Let's see. Everyone is saying this is a bop. Everyone is saying it's a vibe, because it is. Oh, Mark says, I'll suggest Mistake Boy to anyone asking me about Dreamcore songs, because this falls close to the genre. Dude, it does. Definitely. <laughs> the rocks are just giving the copy bear a hug. Um... Oop, we can't see. Oh, you can't see what? Did I turn it off? Oh, no! Did I did I not have it on? We were watching the capybara. I'll show you. 
Let's see. It's good strolling tracks. Makes me want to get into motion. It does. Yeah. Here. Let me show you. One second. Hold on. I'll show you the capybara. Okay. <laughs> Look. Watch a capybara. <laughs> so there you go. You made the visualizer in Blender, and I want to spend more time in Blender because I have ideas. <gasps> Let them beautiful ideas shine, bro. Obviously, it's worth your time and effort. Look at what you made. It's amazing. I love, I love that you're taking the time to do that because it, it's, it's one thing to make music, right? But then it's another to take it to a visual level. It's just letting people really see your vision in a multidimensional way. I think that's so fucking cool. Good job. I love it. Okay. So, yeah, everybody. Everybody and your mother. Go subscribe to Mistake Boy. Go stream all of his song on every platform all at once. In every room of your house. Take over your friend's phone. And put his song on their phone. <laughs> Show no mercy. <laughs> it's really an amazing track though. Of course, dude. You're such a good artist. Your music is amazing. Uh, Saber like, totally the opposite vibe from what I've been listening to lately. We're gonna mix of mostly 80s stuff, but it's like 150 BPM. But it's nice to switch up and chill, holy crap. Yeah, keep at it for sure, right, Evangelist? Alright, speaking of Evangelist, you're up. Let's check out your video, because it's amazing. Um, okay. Dude, the production value on this? Insane. Insane. Okay, you guys ready? Boom. There's our boy. There's our boy. Ah, oh, how did I not? There we go. Jeez Louise. Alright, ready? Is everybody ready for Vangelis' video? Also, before we fucking do that... Oh, fuck. Hold on, I know you heard it. But did you see it? One second, let the confetti buffer. Let the confetti build up. Hold on. Alright. For Mistake Boy. Big confetti! Yay! Yay! Big confetti! Okay. Yeah, here we go! Vangelis spotted. Alright, let's put Vangelis back. Let me charge up the confetti for later. <laughs> okay, guys. Hold on. Vangelis says this video was a part of a nine way collab where we all wrote up a vi unusual. Oh, right, right, Vangelis! Where we all wrote up a usual video for our channels and then got someone else to step in and do the voiceover as a form of identity theft. Wait, that wasn't your voice on this, Vangelis? It really sounded like you. Where, yeah, is the other video out too? I totally forgot about that detail, Vangelis. Thank you for reminding me. Big confetti! Big confetti! Uh, Vangelis says, so this is like a regular video of mine, but my friend Toy Guy did the voiceover. Oh, shit. It sounded like you. And my scripts are weird, so you can hear him working through my writing style. <laughs> I did the, the voiceover for my friend uh, Kian's video, and he wrote in some implications that he's tied up in the corner of the room. All in good fun. Fully fictional. I don't even know how to tie knots. Yokness, can we do my unfinished VR video and just give... Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, send me the, the 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 link to your video. Um, uh, let's see, the best way to do that, I suppose, would be... If you want to email me the link to your video, Mark. And then also give me the time the time spot to when you want me to jump to. Vangelis, my voice pops in at the end of this one. Okay, cool. Vangelis, and yeah, we struggle to release all the videos at the same time in the morning. So if you'd like... Oh, dude, I didn't even see the other one. Okay. Here's Vandalus' video. You guys ready? Can I also just just say the confetti energy here? The uh what's it called? Everyone being willing to hype each other up and and get fully into and present and excited for what everyone's up to. I just think that you guys are beautiful people. And thanks thank you for being here. Okay, I'm so excited. Ready? I I've already seen this, uh, but it's awesome. So we're gonna watch it again. Chivalrous Draconics. This is internet oh. personality Vangelis, wait, 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 and I'm wait. here to take a look at the most modern rendition of a. 
Okay. Oh, actually, now I'm listening to it. It doesn't sound like your voice. <laughs> How did I not know? Um, I'm going to turn off... I'll turn off CC. Because it was getting in the way. Chivalrous Energy. Draconics. This is internet personality Vangelis, and I'm here to take a look at the most modern rendition of a pair of Transformers who combined to form a dragon, released back in 2017. It's Dragonstorm, a leader class from Transformers The Last- Wait a minute. Sorry, Vangelis. Wait a minute. I grabbed the wrong video. This wasn't the one I watched, uh, but is this the one you want us to watch? I haven't seen this one. I was looking at the review of that cool, the cool lady. The, what was her name? Hold on, Vangelis. Is this the video you <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. I goofed. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I just want to feel real. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Legacy United. But which one did you want to do? Oh, this is the one. Poor, oh, Vangel says, poor toy guy. Had to do a lot of takes because my writing is overcomplicated. <laughs> There's a lot of editing. Oh my gosh, okay. I, I, okay, let me show you guys something really quick. Oh my god, Vangelis. Well, for one thing, then I'm excited. Double excited, because I haven't seen this one, and I fucking love dragons. So, cool. I am so excited. I also love robot ladies, so I really enjoyed the other one. Let me show you guys the one I had just watched that I confused this one for. I'll just show you the cover of it. Um... Give me one second. Hold on. Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hang on. Please hold. Please wait. Okay. So you see here, this is Vangelis' YouTube page. And um, you see the second video. You can see I have already watched it. <laughs> it's Legacy uh, United Deluxe Cyberverse Windblade. Um, and it's like this cool samurai chick, and she's a robot, and she turns into an airplane, which are is many things I'm down with. So that was really cool. Um, so this one, Premier Edition Leader Dragonstorm, I have not seen. And this is the one that has your friend's voiceover. Okay, because I was going to say, the one I watched, the Legacy United Deluxe Cyberverse one, I was like, that really sounded like a you. Are you sure that wasn't you? That's insane. Oh... Oh, 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 you're saying, uh, the lady robot one I crammed to get out so that the, fuck, I can't read it, so that the April 1st video would be number 450. Oh, shit, cool. Nice round number. Damn, congrats on making that many videos. Or, number 450. Okay, so let's, let's watch your video, my dude. Perfect. Let me start over now that I'm less confused. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Chivalrous I'm so sorry. Let me make sure. Sorry, this is important to me. Gotta make sure the quality is as big as it'll go. I don't have premium, so it's gonna be 1080. Okay. Okay. Without further interruption. Chivalrous Draconics. This is internet personality Vangelis, and I'm here to take a look at the most modern rendition of a pair of Transformers who combined to form a dragon, released back in 2017. It's Dragonstorm. A leader class from Transformers The Last Night's Premiere Edition, which was a line that came out in such close proximity to the launch of Studio Series, many of its toys were considered to just be Studio Series quality, like good old Dragonstorm here. Once you've carefully removed them from their packaging and Whoa. successfully rolled a few successful luck checks, especially in 2024, Dragonstorm's primary mode is this three-headed dragon. With a fully connected head attached to the end of each neck, this is a voluminous quadruped with a large wingspan and some intense wiry threaded surface sculpting all over the top of the figure. Unfortunately, a lot of the dragon mode sculpt is a Frankenstein patchwork of the aforementioned threaded metallic surface and night parts. No real transitions, just hard cuts between techno-organic mythology and the physical reality of what this friend turns into. Even the paintwork jumps between a lovely shiny silver and a whole lot of dull beige over gray and black plastic. At least the trio of dragon heads have got that sinewy steel sculpt work going on, though a lot of it is lost between the combination of lack of paint and some gloopy orange deco that has the potential of wearing itself down, depending on your luck of the draw in chemical mixtures. Dragonstorm has two major poses that he can assume, and the toy does a decent job of supporting both, Walking on all fours is hypothetically possible, though any pose beyond that very specific one will lead to the front half nearly dragging on the ground due to the shorter front-facing appendages. 
Going bipedal is definitely intense and doable, but also hides all the best paintwork and sculpt work from most viewing angles. So the dragon does have some articulation to it, believe it or not, even though it looks kind of staticky, but like he's got some fairly solid like hip and ankle joints. The hip joints are actually ratcheted in and out because they become robot legs for one of the guys. And then he's got like the, the slightest of <clears throat> ankle tilts on the back. So you got some nice range. You can even unclip like the transformation joint for the for the knee if you want to accomplish things with that. The tail's got a pair of hinges, so it can only really go up and down, but you can curve it enough to make it somewhat expressive. He's got ball socket joints on the front of the dragon, which mine are a tiny bit loose. And then you have the click in elbows and then hinges at the front claws to like have him stand or slash people if you really want to do that. He also has three fairly organic feeling hinges on each wing, which was a little ahead of the curve for transformer based wing articulation tech for 2017. But like with toys such as Dragon Megatron now, they've since improved that, but this was still not bad for the time. And roughly approximately hypothetically four hinges on each neck with a working jaw to boot for each head. There are also these five millimeter holes to store the three included weapons. The swords do a decent job of hiding away in obvious sight while the staff confidently does the absolute opposite, somehow appearing to float in aggressive non-integration over top of Dragonstorm's spine. The courage, the bravado, inspiring to say the least. Getting Dragonstorm apart for transformation is a bit tricky, mostly because the chest lacks any comfortable way to grip it in order to split open the concrete solid series of interlocking tabs that keep it shut. After that, let Storm Rain's central section fall out and you can start closing things back up for Dragonicus. The Wing Bearing Knight has a lot of beast former DNA within its conversion scheme, inhaling Dragonstorm's frontal limbs into its burly chest while Dragonstorm's rear limbs and hips reshape and reform into a humanoid legs and slim unified groin. There's a lot of unfortunate jank here from the crotch's unconfident locking tech to the imprecise way the Dragonstorm's knees straighten into Dragonicus's knees. On the bright side, everything else is very straightforward and isn't it a relief how little dragon heads have to do with this whole process? Not that you have anything to worry about if you didn't fail your luck checks earlier in this video. Storm Rain does a whole bunch of asymmetrical acrobatics to unfurl himself into a limbless dragon worm thing into a knightly dude robot. Everything's unique, everything's interesting, and it gets me excited for a final step that uses the Dragonstorm's chest to seal and lock up the whole shebang. Unfortunately, that final step never happens as Dragonstorm's chest just folds up on a detented hinge and extremely lightly grips the part of the multi-axis rotational array within Storm Rain's torso. It doesn't really prevent it from moving, nor does it have a big tactile moment of actually locking stuff together. Dragonicus is the beefcake of the Dragonstorm pair, and I love his barrel-chested big man proportions. A court of knights needs this one guy who demonstrably could throw an entire horse, and Dragonstorm fulfills that aesthetic with aplomb. He even makes use of the janky split crotch to get across the look of the forked groinal armor plate, similar to Movie 4 and 5's Optimus Prime's own crotch cup. I'm really into how he folds the Dragonstorm wings up into a very cape-like shape rather than just giving in and being a dragon guy. After all, that's Steelbane's job. Dragonicus has the perfect kind of bucket-topped helmet designed to cap off the look with deep-set red eyes and a riveted scaled faceplate. Storm Rain isn't skinny, but he's got an armored slender vibe that pairs well with Dragonicus' bulk. His sculpt implies a lot of layered plates, while his helmet is a T-visor delight that flows nicely with all the visible curved edges. It's such a shame that Dragonicus's chest does next to nothing to integrate, as it makes Storm Rain look straight up unfinished from several angles. I'd have even been fine with something as simple as the piece rotating around to form a humped backpack. At least Storm Rain's staff can be stored back there, though it looks a little less smooth than Dragonicus's twin swords, even with all the surrounding bulk. In general, these two are a fantastic visual pairing. It's just a shame that they share such a bland slurry of color layout. Unifying, yes, but inspiring, not really, other than intermittent spots of silver and metallic blue. Despite that, these two keep perpetual hooks in me regardless. Call me a sucker for the Ornstein and Smau aesthetics vibe. Storm Rain's got a basic suite of articulation, but a lot of it is hampered by the weird baggage. His ball jointed neck can only really swivel 
to his right due to the lack of clearance on the left clavicle for his helmet. His ball jointed shoulders work fine, even capable of T-posing, but the inert rotator array's inability to lock into place makes everything wobbly, even when you use the bicep swivels or the elbow hinges. Sorry pals, no wrists. Not even on Dragonicus either. Though, as you can see, he does still have his own elbows, biceps, and ball socket shoulders. Both of the Dragonstorm boys can T-pose, Primus save the Robo Royalty. Dragonicus does have a strictly superior ball jointed neck with full swivel and even a tiny touch of emotive waggle. His hips have a smooth solid forward motion along with a detented outer motion likely due to this being Dragonstorm's load bearing hips in alt mode. The crotch can come apart during all of this unless you take a moment to help holding it together, especially during the detents. There are also thigh swivels, a slight 90 degree upper knee hinge with an extremely minor lower knee hinge, and a big meaty ball socket ankle capable of some usable tiltability. However, Dragonicus has no waist joint. But Storm Rain? Oh, he's got one, completely unfettered and free to swing his hips around to your heart's content. His universal hip swivels and thigh cuts all work decently and his knee hinges can even pull off a deep bend. However, his thighs are tiny compared to his shins, which diminishes the overall effect. And ankles? Storm Rain doesn't even have symmetrical heels, let alone usable articulation down there. Though his heels work in tandem with the tiny feet to make Storm Rain a bit of a butt and ass to keep stable on a flat surface. Would I, internet personality Vangelis, call Leader Class Dragon Storm a cool toy? Yes. Would I call it a good toy? Awkward avoidance as I hasten us to the next question. Would I get into a fight with someone like x slash Twitter user at sign in that toy guy over it? No, absolutely not. Leader Class Dragonstorm is trying so hard to do well with the nigh impossible concept. Somewhere between 2 and 13 night transformers can combine into him. His, his film, The Last Night, is such a desperate quilt of half-finished and unrelated concepts to note that even the finished film doesn't actually know what a Dragonstorm is. And yet, he was chosen to be a marquee merch design despite being an aimless cloud of concept art that was put on screen with no rhyme or reason. This toy was made for almost literally nothing. That's why I'm so bummed out that after all of its hardships and quirks, all of its easy failures and astonishing successes, the three dragon heads commonly melt their own hinge connections, sometimes without even a hint of human contact. When this toy came out in 2017, it wasn't uncommon to hear of decapitated Dragonstorm heads rattling around in sealed copies of the toy. Thank heavens they ended up literally hanging off the forearms of the two robot modes. They even offer the option for an unofficial dragon blast attack if they haven't leaked Plasticizer to melt their own hinge connections which is itself a completely random and unpredictable happenstance. I unironically enjoy Leader Class Dragonstorm for taking on a frankly impossible task of making something out of the chaotic pile that was Dragonstorm's entire friggin' everything in the last night. And I wish that seven years later, somebody had produced three replacement robot mode arms to swap out the chemically unstable dragon heads that make it nearly impossible to even academically recommend this toy that I genuinely smile at when I put him through his paces. It's okay, Dragonstorm. Even if that toy guy hates you, you will always have a home with me. Your robots, plus dragons, plus knights, the peanut butter, marmalade, and brioche bread sandwich of toys, non-derogatory. Anyways, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, portrayed by that toy guy as part of a Transformers YouTuber's identity theft special. Check out the playlist for more mix and match videos. We all made it in good fun. Yeah, yeah, good fun. Vangelis wrote a script to make me say nice things about Dragonstorm. He even wrote this part at the end to make it clear that these are his words, not mine. Even this part. Stop writing in my voice. Heh, <laughs> that's right, x slash Twitter user. Sign in that <laughs> toy guy. Check out YouTube creator That Toy Guy's video in the playlist to see who performed in his video for the project. And be sure to visit Kian Carlisle. I sure did. It's that time of year. You ain't gonna keep a good old soggy down now. <laughs> Yay, dude. Oh, oh, fuck. I forgot you can't see it because it's behind the thing. Hold on. 
Hold your little horses, will you? Just keep your Key horses. Kian Carlisle. One second. What makes a... One second, one second. Dude, that was awesome. I loved the, the winged one. Well, love is a strong word. I, I like the winged one better. <laughs> but that's sad about the heads. Hold on, let me catch up on the chat, because I was really focusing on the video. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, also, I... I I, the fucking groin mandibles make me very uncomfortable. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, hold on. Oh my goodness, I missed so much. Yeah, dude, the the fire transition for the unboxing was super cool. That box footage was all shot in 2017, says Vangelis. I forgot to, I'd set that set up that effect shot until last week when I checked it. It's fun when that happens. This toy has some baggage <laughs> with the dragon heads. They're a soft plastic that sometimes kind of melts after a random amount of time. That's so insane. Uh... Oh, I, uh, yeah, that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My secret sword holes is a thing I need in my wardrobe. <laughs> secret sword holes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm just catching up to the, the chat really quick. <laughs> the gentleman with no shirt is my April Fool's April 1st mascot since a few years ago. <laughs> Wait, you, you only use that figure on April 1st? Elsa says it's kind of wild that that toy that toy makers make this wild ass stuff. Like, where do you even start with the design process, dude? I was thinking the same thing. I was like, damn, wh how do you plan for that? How do you, how do you like, uh, what's it called? Uh, test the concept before production. <gasps> Jump last, Jeremy, you made it! Yay! Thanks for being here, Jeremy. Wee! Um, hold on. Vangelis says this melting is caused by the softer plastic leaking its plasticizer into the harder plastics of the neck. That's crazy. Oh, but I bet that's hard to avoid, too, though. Uh, Vangelis responded to Elsa the Fool and said most Transformer pieces have a two to three year development process. It's bonkers. That makes sense. But I really appreciate, like, watching you unfold it, too, like, like rolling back one of the arms and revealing a tiny arm, I, I would... Uh, I would need an instruction manual on how to how to how to use one of these transformer toys, but it is super cool. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Saberlock says so fascinating with the behind the scenes manufacturing stuff. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, it is actually fascinating, and that's one of the things I really liked about the other video I saw from Vangelis too. Is Vangelis seems to either just be really knowledgeable about um about this industry, or do, or both. Like does a lot of research um, because it's there's so many interesting facts um, into into the videos. You can tell it's something he cares about and something he spends a lot of time making sure he gets right. So we really appreciate the quality, the quality of your work, Vangelis. Um, yeah, the the last part of the script was funny. Um, very swag satellites, very swag. Are they, uh, Silverlight says, I can never afford the bigger Transformers because I got impatient and spent all my money on the smaller ones instead of saving up. <laughs> Elsa the Fool makes me want to make some wacky figures. Oh, dude, I bet. I wonder what kind of figures you would make. That would be fucking so amazing to see. The most 
the most extensive thing I've ever thought about making as far as figures go was like, oh, if I made the egg ship, I would want like it to be interactable, you know, like make the, the gates openable, like the gates, like the under doors, like underneath the, the egg ship, they're like the, the what do they call retractor doors or um, how to take off the top of the egg ship so you can see it on the inside or stuff like that. So I looking at something like this transformer toy, I don't know how they fucking designed something like that. Um, Evangelist is low-key. I've collected a whole lot of third-hand toy industry tidbits because I like to know why things turn out the way they turn out. Whenever I run into a why they they don't do this kind of scenario, scenario, I like to have some... Oh, that makes sense. And we appreciate you sharing that knowledge. Um, Hold on. So sorry to leave at such a fun moment, but I have to head to work now. Oh, no, Elsa. Oh, we were just about to review your bird. We'll review it. We'll still review it, but... Just know that we're going to look at your, your sweet puppet. But thank you so much for being here, Elsa. It's such a pleasure. And I hope you have a great day at work. Um, congratulations again on your award and also on your fucking badass puppet. Yeah. Hope you have a kick-ass day. Let me give you some confetti. Bye, Elsa. Goodbye, our eggy friend, Elsa. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I don't know if she's still here. I'm still catching up with the chat. Polly Pocket style egg ship. Elsa. <laughs> Elsa with the big brain. The big, big brain Elsa. Oh my god, that's such an incredible idea. That's such an incredible idea. Okay, you know what? That's it. Let me open up Notepad. Let me write down your video game suggestion suggestion, and also Polly Pocket Egg Ship. Are you fucking kidding me? That's an incredible idea. Polly Pocket will sue me, but <laughs> for you guys, it's worth it. What the fuck? Oh, I, oh, that just has my brain going crazy. I can envision that. Oh, my goodness. And then I can have little eggies. Eee! Okay. Oh, my God, you guys. The creativity in this group is just, like, overwhelming. Um, and Elsa, if you're... Oh, you're leaving crap. Bye! It was a pinky... Pinky pie game. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Fabulous. Hold on. Vangela says 3D printing can do a lot of cool stuff for indie toy making if you got access. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't know if you know Vangelis, but I 3D printed a figurine of an eggy. Um, and I also actually I have a, like only three prints. I printed a um the my the 3D music video I made in VR, the uh, nighttime horror music video, I've 3D printed uh, the shadow character in the big ball gown, um, and then I printed a background of the music video, so it has like a little prop background, and then the figurine in front of it. I haven't released it. I probably will this year for a limited sale in uh, October, um, but uh, there's only two of them for sale, so, and they're kind of shitty, but... <laughs> The charming. But yeah, I've done some 3D printing for figurines and I definitely want to do it more. I don't know how to design like joints and stuff. I probably would need to learn CAD, I imagine, but I don't know how. Maybe I could do it in Blender. I have to get the measurements right. Um, hold on. Hold on. <sighs> Deepest Mark says, Elsa, Fool, Elsa the Fool, we miss you already and congrats on your awesomeness. Truly, tell her. Evangel says, yo, pocket extra with the magnetized panels and stuff. Dude. Dude. Magnets. That's a great idea. Magnets could actually... Maybe I don't even need to have interlocking plastic parts. I could have magnets. That makes it easier. Um, just don't call it poly pocket. You should be good. <laughs> call it... Oh, no. I don't know what to call it. Um... I had one of the boy equivalents of Polly Pocket as a kid. I forgot the name. Oh, I didn't know if there was a boy equivalent. That's awesome. Uh, Vangel says, my, my friend David used to do original 3D printed action figures called Mechazone. That's awesome. 
that used a whole acetone vapor treatment to strengthen the plastic. It's, oh, interesting. Acetone vapor. Bro, I wonder how he did that. He must have had an actual like production facility to do that. Or like a studio or something. Sounds toxic. Um, Kyle says, I would love to start making little resin lads after 3D printing stuff. Oh, little resin lads. Maybe a little resin eggy lad. Oh, that would be cool. Deepest Mario says, 3D printing toys is something any furry one can do, though. Yes. My friend used his 3D printer to print himself a large 3D printer. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's his 3D printer. He can 3D print or 3D printer if he wants to. This is America. Dude. Wow, guys. Let me queue up uh, Elsa's work. Um, we're kind of almost at the end here. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to do this live stream. We'll have a little brief chaos moment, but I do need to get to work. Uh, oh, Jeremy, I don't know if you're still here. Um, I have been working. I'm, oh, I'm so close to finishing the song, and it's coming out so well. Um, I just have to track the bass and then add on any little additional instruments or anything and then do a rough mix and then I'll send it to you, Jeremy, to see uh, if you guys have any notes, if you, what you think, and then we can do the final, the real final rundown of everything and uh, and, uh, and then it'll be all good. I'm, I'm hoping to have it all done by this Sunday, if not by this Friday. <gasps> Yay! Also tell Lamonda I say hello. Ooh, you guys are so cool. Um, hold on. Hold on. Leah, while you guys are chatting, let me... Wait. Uh, brief chaos moment. Then what time would we be doing this whole time? Hey, Saber, like, I'll have you know. This has actually been quite, um... Hold on. Oh. Saber, like, I'll have you know. This has actually been quite organized. Quite organized. Uh, version of our streams. Usually it's much more crazy. Yeah, Jump Blast, I, it, like, I really wanted to get the vocals right, so I spent, like, three days making sure the vocals came out right. So, um, barra, barra, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Um, hold on, hold on, yeah. So, oh. Jump Blast says, we're working hard on the Steam page. She's here and can hear, yay! Hi, Lamonda! Um, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Jump Lust here, with their amazing partner, Lamonda, are making a video game called RPG Girl. They have asked me to do a, a song for the trailer of their of their video game, and it's been a high honor. They also put me in the video game, you guys. So it's an amazing game on its own. Um, I have always wanted to be in a video game, so even just being like this background person is just, it blows my mind. And Lamonda did all the art, and it, it's just, they are making the game together. It's just them. And it's, Lamoda's even doing the music for the game. Like, it's such a labor of love. And it's so amazing. And it's almost done. So they're setting up the Steam page now. Um, oh, she's finishing up the new logo for the game. Fucking badass, Lamonda. Can't wait to see it. Dude. Hold on. Saberlike says, hey, now, I was here for almost the entire six hours and, and 12 minutes of last week's stream. I'm fully aware of just how chaos it can get. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, but this time, this, this, this live stream, I, we, we allowed a little chaos in the beginning just to let everybody express themselves and, and catch up. And then we've watched each other's content and now we're just kind of wrapping up a little bit. Um, so, uh, it's going to be good. Let me get Elsa's work queued up for review and then we will probably conclude. Um, let's see here. But also, just also to conclude, uh, Vangelis, not that you need it from us, but your video is so fucking cool. Um, congratulations on, on the collaborative effort, but also putting out another banger, another high quality piece. Um, when do you start making the next one? And Elsa the Fool? Oh! Jeremy, is it okay if I just post a link to the demo here? Dude, please do. Uh, I think I can also um, I can also play the demo next week if you want, Mr. Jeremy. Okay. Hold on.
Yeah, so Jeremy and Lamonda Jump Lust, the the creators of RPG Girl, they've been working on this video game for a few years and um I can't even imagine the work that goes into it, but it's such a cozy game. Okay. Yeah, Jeremy, so you can post it here if you want to, but I will also play it next week. Vangelis says, I usually crash out badly after doing a lot of work, like two videos in the same week. Holy fuck. But I want to change. So I've written a new script and I'm writing a second one now. Holy fuck, dude. The demo is downloadable from the itch page link on the site there. Okay, awesome. Um, I will grab that link too and put it in the description of this video at the end. Jeremy, so everyone can find it in the description if they can't find it. Um... Um, 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 uh, let me grab Elsa's page really quick. Oh, but before I forget, Evangelist, um, holy fuck, though. <laughs> Good for you, though, for, like, you know, like, reaching different levels of productivity. I do hope you rest. Take it from me, the person notorious for, for not taking rest. I've been trying. I know last week we talked about adding on to my dream supreme stretching. I think that was Kyle's wonderful idea. I think I did it one time, and then I forgot. So, may we both, may we all focus on relaxation and 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 self care this week as well. Okay. Uh 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 Elsa 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 Let me find a little Elsa. I suddenly forgot how to use Instagram. I'm on Instagram and I'm like, what do I do? Where do I go? Who do I talk to? Elsa Okay, let's see. Oh man, Elsa's so fucking cool. What an inspiration. Alright, let's see if this works. Without revealing anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> kinda. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Nope. I don't know what happened. Hold on. This. This. Give me one second, y'all. Give me one second. I gotta just try to do this. Okay. Try and do. Mm -mm -mm. Some of that. Okay. Uh, this is kind of better, maybe. Right. No. Okay. Hold on. Okay. This is kind of okay, I think. Let me see here. <laughs> this is really not the best, and I apologize. Um, okay, but at least we can kind of see, right? Hold on, where are we at? Hold on. Kyle says, yo, that's like an infinite increase in stretching, going from zero to one. You're right, the first one is the hardest. Um, Vangel says, trying to find the balance between keeping my brain full of nitro and keeping my brain. <laughs> Dude, I feel that one. I really do. That bird does rule, Jeremy. Uh, OBS and browser windows, one of the eternal struggles. Oh, man. Um, I should have queued up Elsa's beforehand. I thought it was going to be easier, um, but I was foolish. So yeah, this is our our good friend, Eggy Elsa. And this is her Instagram page. And everyone, everyone should follow her. Look at this little icon. All right? Look at her little cute little website. Okay? I do see Mistake Boy Saver Like in Yarn, plus 12 more mutuals. That's awesome. So this is our girl. This is her prize winning Boyd. Look at this. And I'll show you a video of it in a second. Let me see if you can see that properly. Yeah, you kind of can. Um... Sorry, this crop is such doo doo. Let me see if I can do this a little bit better. Hold on. Filters. Hold on, hold on. Uh, 
That's kind of better. And now I can make it bigger. There we go. All right, this is our beautiful little girl. Look at her. Okay. So there's Elsa and her beautiful bird. She says, um, he, they have been working on him for months. So to finally see him come to life was so satisfying. Uh, this is, their time at the masquerade is also amazing. They rocketed, rocketed the stage and took home the award for the best prop. And shout out to their partner in, partners in crafting crime, Kay and Brittany, for pulling it all together. So, there was a video. No, I, oh, here's the video. Let me make sure this works. Yeah, look at it go. You kidding me? Look at it. The articulation, the teeth. Oh, Lord, my nose. How cool is that? I wonder what the what the feathers are made out of. So fucking cool. And I don't know if there's any sound. Oh, there is. I might get claimed though. Okay. Um, and look. Okay. Here's her video of making it. Yeah, I might get clenched. I might have to mute that. Okay. What the fuck? I don't like this video yet. Dang, look at her go. And it's such a good idea to do that this year, given the release of the, the movie. I haven't seen it, though. I know of the heron, but I haven't seen the movie. How cool. Look at the eyes. They're so neat. I'm going to watch this beginning part again. Ten weeks. Damn, look at her go. I love her little studio, too. What a dream. So cool. And then there's this one. POV, it's weeks... It's weeks of the con, and uh, all the things you thought wouldn't take that long are taking long. <laughs> Fucking, oh my god, I know. I know how that feels. Damn. It's so cool. I love these, like, process videos. So cool. So much TLC. So much focus and dedication. Ooh, I like the pattern, the the texture. Amazing. Fucking so cool. Did I not like that video? Yeah, I did. Okay. What's this one? Episode 4 of making him into a puppet. Oh man, out of PVC pipes. Damn, I love how her ingenuity and, and just her, her creative mind. Oh, this is the body, I assume. So cool. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't she amazing? Look at this. Just a little jester. El so yeah, Elsa's page is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Look at that. In the bottom left corner, you see a little little peak of the eye of the heron. Um, here, hold on. A little bit of music. Alright, where are we? The teeth are so perfect, Vangelis. I'm so impressed. You want you want to battle it in soul like souls like combat? <laughs> Put them in the green suit, and they would do the effects and pops and the music. Yeah, definitely, Mark. 
the level of quiet brain sync to have someone oh dude evangelist right i imagine they must have been collaborators and friends for a long time and that must be so much fun too to just to share a project like that with somebody oh heck and yep new order yeah right i love new order truly stunning oh yeah i took it off screen now saber like just so you know i am aware and let's go back to does anybody else mark i saw that you said that you deleted your video um does anybody else want to uh share share something they're working on while we're in the preview window here You guys are doing such amazing work. It's so cool to see. I love seeing everyone be cool, Kyle. I love it so much. Is that too loud? Okay, I'm going back to the Dream Supreme room. Hello, eggs. So now I need to take the circle, the circle off of me. Hold on. My brain is starting to fatigue. My brain is starting to go warp, warp, warp. There we go. Back in business, baby. Yeah, so inspiring, everybody. Well, guys, does anybody have some shit they want to say? <gasps> Wait, Kyle says... Not too much to share here. I'm getting graduation announcements done tomorrow. Yay! Graduation announcements. So that is that does that mean like what you'll be sending out to friends and family about your graduation? Congrats. That sounds like a lot of work. Evangelist, I do hope that you enjoy your writing. I hope you do writing deluxe. I hope there's an extension of self-care in your writing. If that means excuse me, if that means writing with a with a nice brewski or a, a nice cup of tea or something. I hope that's the case. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you for being here. It's so nice to see everybody. I was shocked to see how many people came through today. Oh, Kyle says, oh, cool story. I went snowmobiling yesterday and the people I went with actually locked the keys in the trailer. I used my Skills to get back in. Fucking confetti to our locksmith boy. Dude, that's crazy. They locked the keys to So for those who don't know, Kyle Smith is like a man of many talents. A uh, very, very, like a weird skill set. One of them is lock picking. <laughs> so that's awesome that you're able to, what a, what a cool thing to know how to do. Vandal says, oh yeah, this whole month is going to be a grand crisscross of self-care and activity. The locksmithing time coder. <laughs> the locksmithing time coder. That's our boy. That's his full government name. Um, but I'm glad to hear it. Uh, good, Godspeed and good luck to, to striking that balance. Uh, Vangelis, do you ever make uh, vlogs? I need to deep dive into your content more. I, like I said, I'm new to your content. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if you make vlogs, because your process would be really interesting to see. Your life. Oh, Jeremy, your life. Actually, fucking, honestly, everyone's life would be fascinating. Eclectic skills, for sure. Um, everyone's life. You know, we were talking about one, a few of the live streams ago, uh, maybe next month, doing a challenge, like a group challenge, in the same way we're doing Fashion Friday this, this month next month to do a vlog challenge where each of us do a day in our life um just to show each other and i can even do like a little like tutorial for those who don't know how to do it like what software is i use how to make it easy uh tips and tricks like that uh evangelist i used to vlog more lately i've been trying to stream more yeah i feel that me too but it, well i'll have to go back and take a look evangelist Saberlex says, I wrote a very short story based on a nightmare I had a few days ago. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Um, you did email. I. It's funny. I thought that was a dream. But now that you mention it, I realize I do know what you're talking about. I haven't read it yet. I've been working so fucking much, you guys. Um, this month, I'm hoping to do a production production stream series to share what I do. And also create some some co-working vibes for others that's amazing i can't wait to oh yeah i remember you saying that evangelist but that's also great to remember 
are to be reminded of. Uh, that that would be amazing. And Saber Lake, uh, I think I emailed it to you if you want to share IR. It, it, IR? I do want to share, but I do have to get off the, we'll have to do that next time, because I, I do need to go off the stream. I don't know if you can tell, but my, my, my words and my thoughts and my brain are going, and I still have a lot of work to do, because I work tomorrow. Um, I mean, technically it was a dream. <laughs> your dream, like, <laughs> it's funny that your, your, your dream message made me feel like I was dreaming. I, it, it stored in my brain as if I was dreaming. I must have woke up, I bet I woke up when I was sleeping and looked at my notifications and saw the headline or something. Um. <sighs> okay. Okay. But thank you for sharing with me, Saber. Like, I do want to read it. And and that would be really fun. If, you, if it's okay with you, we'll read it next time. Let me make a note about that. Okay, so on the itinerary, uh, hold on, Angel says, writing dreams down, writing down dreams is so cool when it happens, especially if your dream leaves your memory as you go, oh, I hate when that happens. I've been having the craziest dreams too. Uh, yeah, when you write them down, they can turn into really cool short stories or something. I've been having such wild and honestly violent dreams. I'm not a violent person, but I, maybe I have some inner anger or something because I've been having some violent dreams. I'm just beating people up. I don't know why. Um, yeah, we're threatening people. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's been really crazy. Like, I had a dream recently that some random girl, like, took, like, it was, like, in my dream, it was, like, the girlfriend. I, this is not a real person, but it was, like, the girlfriend of someone else I knew. And we're all sitting at a t dinner table with my brother. And for some reason, she got up and just pinched my brother's nose and opened his mouth and just vomited into his mouth just like a like a like a tube of vomit like so thick and violent and i was so it sent me into a rage like i rocketed up from the table in my dream and i started cussing her and i told her i was gonna fucking annihilate you and then i think i grabbed her by the throat chucked her i, I really like it was really violent i don't know why i would dream that for one and also i don't know why i had such a violent reaction in my dream it was very strange very very strange the lingering shadows of Queen Barrel. <laughs> Maybe. Um. Superlike says, This was way too vivid to forget, so I rarely have nightmares. Especially that. I so rarely have nightmares. Especially that clear and vivid. Oh, it's a nightmare. Aww. It'll be interesting to read, though. Um. You know what, Saberlike? Maybe we should read it at the end of next stream. Um. Maybe, um. Like I said, next Friday, I'm going to try to do another video game live stream. So it'd be fun to do it at the end as like a good night stream. Like a like a good night story <laughs> is to read your nightmare. Kyle says, uh, oh my goodness, I usually have wacky dreams. I love hearing people's dreams. I love hearing people's dreams. Uh, Super like sense said, went back to sleep after that, but it still burned into my memory. Didn't write it until the way later today. That's crazy that you remembered it, though. It's so amazing. If someone too puked into my brother's mouth, I'd probably throw a chair too. No, I threw them, not the chair. I grabbed her by the throat. And I remember soft and small. I threw her. I was so mad. Mark says, I was getting sad until I heard Yolkness' dream story. Why are you getting sad? <laughs> oh no, why are you sad, Mark? But Angelus, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not alone. It, too <laughs> Too puked. <laughs> too puked. It literally looked like, you know, when they're making like uh, fucking hot dogs or something, like sausage, and that meat just comes in a cylinder out of the machine, just grind it out. That's what it looked like. Ugh, but but liquid. And it was just and chunky, and it was disgusting. <sighs> you know, I bet. I actually. Maybe I know where that dream came from, but. Better to dream than to experience it, IRL. Wow. Understandable that you felt violent. Sure, wherever you want to go. Okay. No too puking. No too puking allowed. Honestly, yeeting people seemed like a reasonable and measured reaction to that. Don't, y'all, don't encourage me. <laughs> don't encourage any violent streak. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man. Alright, rage is new for me. I've only discovered rage in the past few years. I've never taken it out on somebody, but boy have I felt it. It bubbles up sometimes. And I have to be like, whoa, what the fuck? Where did that come from? But anyway, friends. No two puking. Alright, no, not even once. And if you do, you get yeeted. <laughs> not like the gavel. This is a lot of land. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Am I forgetting anything? I think I was just... Was I just about to do something? Oh, yeah. So, the, the itinerary for next week. Um, we're going to do another Dream Supreme, of course, on Wednesday. Next Wednesday's Dream Supreme will be focused on organizing the Fashion Friday. Uh, because that's coming up, okay? Um, and, of course, if you guys have anything that you want to share next Wednesday, you can always email me. Or let me know live, and I'll keep... Uh, I'll keep like a youtube window prep so we can just watch whatever anybody wants to share um or instagram and um yeah we'll just check in with each other does anybody have anything that they're working on in the next week oh also just to let you guys know um so thank you to everyone that submitted a dream uh their, their dream supreme through the dream supreme form on my website if you are still wanting to do that, the link is right here on the screen. It's www.yolkness.com forward slash dream supreme. And this is just a dream supreme form to let me know what your dream supreme is. And um, just let me get to know you better. Also, I was going to make some overlays for this live stream. Just like a little fun interacting thing. Um, so we can all kind of keep track of our dream supremes as we go along. And go about pursuing and accomplishing them. Um... But that's going to take more time. I was hoping to have the overlays done by today, but I worked too much. And I'm also, my number one priority is the RPG girl. So, um, everything is on hold until I finish the RPG girl. Um, but then, uh, then we'll eventually get around to it. But, so that means you still have time if you'd like to. If you'd like to hit that link and submit your Dream Supreme. I'm also going to print everyone's Dream Supreme. I'm going to have a little book. And I'm going to read it so I can memorize everyone's Dream Supremes, okay? If that's if that's okay with everybody. Uh, Mark, Rage Art, throw paint balloons. That sounds nice. That does sound nice. You know, drum drumming was kind of like a release of physical rage, too. That was... But it's so much fun. It, it made me feel like I was on cloud nine. Wait, what about cubes, Vangelis? Uh, Kyle, do you want us to submit weekly or is it one time deal? Oh, no, it's okay. It's a, it's a... <laughs> See, if it likes this, Kyle, we must submit hourly or we get kicked out. No, no, it's a one time deal until you accomplish that dream supreme and then you can submit another one if you want to. Um, so it'll be like, it, this is like a testing thing. I'm still trying to figure out how to make this like useful for you guys in some way and and some people work best with visuals so i'm still trying to figure out like i said but for now it's just a one-time thing um until that dream supreme gets accomplished like i said then it's a new thing you know what i mean um what else oh yeah so tomorrow dream supreme live stream on the wednesday oh, and then that friday next week next friday um the video game day will be if i can do it it will be later in the evening. It won't be at 6. It'll probably be at 7. Because I get out of work at 6. Um, so we were going to play uh, RPG Girl. Okay. We're going to play the demo. Okay. And then maybe um, maybe we can hit up one of the other games uh, that's on the list. Or maybe even the Peach game. <gasps> Freaking Carlos. Hi. Welcome to the Dream Supreme. We're just about to close it off. Uh, this is not another 6 hour Dream Supreme. <laughs> Uh, Shay, I think you did. Uh, let me double check. Let me just double check really quick. One second. I think... Did you, Shay? I think you did. There was a... In the past few days, there's been an influx of new Dream Supremes. Um, and I, like I said, I've been working, so I haven't been able to do anything. Um, let me see. Let me see. Please hold. Please wait. Thank you for being here. Please hold. I'm st still new to figuring out how to use all the things that my website can do. Um, 
Shay, actually, I don't think I've received a Dream Supreme from you. If you want to submit your Dream Supreme, that'd be amazing. Because I'm going to make a little dream book of all the Eggies dreams so I can read it when I go to sleep every night. Yeah, Percy Piggy! Oh my god, everyone is still here. Um, Carlos, thank you so much for saying hi. How are you doing today? Yeah, Saber, like, Earthbound is super high up there as far as a game that I want to play. <gasps> You're gonna guide me through, Saber, like, to make sure I don't miss any of the fun secrets? Wow. That'll be so fun. Okay, again, just a reminder, guys. Uh, you did my homework. I submit. Yeah, Person Piggy, I do think I have yours. Let me just double check. Uh, Person Piggy, Person Piggy. think this is yours yeah i got yours yeah i got thank you guys for for um for sharing your dream supremes oh shay are you okay shay what's going on oh it's just shay so you see um on my you to do the dream supreme form you go to the website link that's right here next to the chat it's like right here it's www.yogness.com www forward slash the dream supreme. And then it's a form. And you just fill out that form. And then uh, it'll submit to me uh, what your dream supreme is. And again, these the dream supreme can change. This is just the current one. <laughs> Poor Zimbi, you did your homework. Thank you. A plus, big gold star. You guys, it's been an amazing day hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much. Just to reiterate, next week we're gonna do Wednesday Dream Supreme, and we're also gonna do uh, we're gonna try to do Friday video game streams again. And um, I'm gonna make a new I want to make a new thumbnail for the Dream Supreme live streams. It'll probably have the eggy on it. That'll be fun. I. Thank you, Shay. Um, Shay, you doing okay though? I, I I know you're not feeling well. Oh oh, you said yeah. I didn't end up feeling well enough to go, so I'm back. Oh dude, I'm so sorry to hear that. What are you feeling, if I may ask? But I'm I'm super stoked to see you. I just hope you're feeling okay. It's so crazy that you're able to receive this live stream from wherever the fuck you are. <laughs> Out on the sea. Oh, too much talking. Whoops, I actually dropped out for some time. You're okay, too much talking. Are you okay? Yeah, Kyle. Great work, everybody. Let's put some confetti on. Yay! Uh, great work, and everybody have a beautiful week. Thank you. Uh, Shade, I'm just dealing with some ongoing stuff that seems to come with my periods. Oh, dude! I... Oh... Yeah, you and me both, girl. Are you about to start your period? I am full of PMSing. I'm about to pop any time now. I could be popped right now and I don't even know. I'm a bull blood bag. And I am fucking... It is kicking the shit out of me. So I feel you. If that's what's happening. And I... And I... I, I ate all my chocolate. I don't have any more chocolate. Um, best vibes to see y'all dealing with stuff. Thank you, Evangelist. Uh, most days, painkillers or ignoring symptoms get me through, but I'm anxious to see a specialist get help. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I recently just started taking painkillers too these last two weeks because I can't keep calling out of work. Y you gotta fucking go, you know? So, I'm with you. And it's tough because you don't want to live a life on painkiller. But you also, you have to survive. You have to, like, push through. And either on painkiller or just will. I noticed that doing it just on will alone is exhausting like the pain makes your body exhausted it's like fighting off the flu and just so you know shay if you um if if it is endometriosis that you have as well um because your body is fighting the diseased tissue it's the same thing that happens to your body when you get the flu that like deep fatigue like and you don't feel good you just feel bad so i hope that even though it's invisible and even though no one else around you is going to understand i hope you feel empowered and strong enough to know that serious shit is happening in your body and that you deserve relaxation. Oh, Shay, you are already on yours? Dude, uh, silver lining, we're synced up. How cool is that? 
Eggy periods! <laughs> we need a. Uh... Oh my god, why am I forgetting blanking on his name? Hold on. Yeah, Shay. I really hope you get to see a specialist soon. Me too. I don't have a specialist yet. Um, but hang in there, okay, Egg? You're, you're such a badass. You're so amazing. To go through all that and still be sailing and exploring caves? What the fuck? Let me give you a confetti. Big confetti to your ovaries. Just saying I have a fever doesn't make sense to any other people who don't, when I don't. Um, Smoky Robots! Yeah, Kyle, thank you. I was like, I was gonna... <laughs> yeah, Smoky Robots. Can't believe I forgot. Um... And saying I have a fever doesn't make sense to other people one day. Yeah, dude. Okay, so I feel that too. My head feels like it's so hot and I get these migraines. My body gets super inflamed. But then I'll take my temperature and I don't have a fever. And it's like, what the fuck? I swear to God. So it's the biggest mind fuck. It's such a mind fuck. <laughs> Yay, synced. Also, poor some piggy coming with the period. Oh my god, I'm PMSing too. I have big feelings and had to remove some stuff from my diet to reduce pain inflammation. Also, flexi joint powder as it what? Flexi joint powder as a supplement helps so much with the joint pain. Wait, dude, do you have PCOS or endo too? Miss Miss Porcelain Piggy? I'd cook y'all some soup for power, but I can't get food to transfer electronically through my devices. Have you tried putting it into the CD drive? Have you tried? <laughs> Inserting it into a, uh, a, a, a USB port, sir. Can you put the soup <laughs> into an open vent, please? <laughs> We're hungry. <laughs> I don't film this, the sick rest days. I know, neither do I. I thought about it one time, and I had my phone up, because I was, like, on the floor. <laughs> and I, was, I had my phone up, I was like, you know, this is probably important to show. And then I just felt stupid. I was like, this is so dramatic and dumb. I was like, no. Nah. But maybe I should. I tried both USAB, USB A, and USB C. <laughs> USB C is for cookies. <laughs> because we're PMSing. <laughs> Thank you. Prayer for healing and answers for y'all's dealing with health bullshit. For real. Uh, Shay says, oh, that's great to know. I get terrible joint pain literally right now. I do too. My joints are on fire. Not all of them, just a few of them right now. And on fire right now, it's not as bad as it has been. Um, I, I was able to bring down some of my inflammation by not using coconut oil anymore. I didn't notice, but the the uh, the influx of saturated fat from coconut oil, I think, was kind of fucking me up. <laughs> shoot, Vangelis. Kyle says, shoot, Vangelis. We need to figure this out. So over the next week, and hopefully we'll have the whole soup situation <laughs> sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> I could see like a like a a, a a parody tutorial where someone just gets like a thrown away computer like a a computer set for recycle and a whole tutorial on like how to freeze soup and then you shave it down to a sliver and then you put it into the CD drive <laughs> um Shay I'm thinking of f starting an anti-inflammatory diet that is vital 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 so vital so 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 vital I hope you do I know it's gotta be difficult to do on a boat too but let me know if you need any um, I, I'm not saying I've got the cure I'm not saying I've got it all figured out but I, I live anti-inflammatory too um, so if you ever need wanna, uh, wanna share share recipes girl I got you a joint on fire better go put it out I know I'm about to say Vangelis stop doing your special effects on my joints please <laughs> please it would be funny though. Uh, <laughs> Vangelis says, "Yeah, at Kyle, it's frankly embarrassing that it's 2024 and I can't put fresh soup up on the Dropbox." <laughs> but Kyle says, "But for real, friends, I hope y'all are able to find some relief even in the slightest." Thank you, Kyle. Thank you so much. Honestly, um, I know these. What we're saying is like 
it's not to make this a gendered thing at all but it you know one in ten women have uh endometriosis and i forgot the statistic for how many people have pcos but it's pretty common in varying degrees of of pain um some people can have endometriosis their whole life and never know but those who do know those who do have pcos or some sort of complication with their period it's very common for females so it's like um you know it's like a cycle of hell every month and we, we still live life we still go out and put on our eyeliner and stuff but like to, to talk to Shay and talk to uh, pour some piggy here in the chat, it makes me feel less alone, and it helps me realize like, oh, like, yeah, this is what a shitty fucking curse. What the fuck? What a shitty fucking bullshit curse. But thank you um, to to the to the identifying males <laughs> in this chat for um, listening to us talk about this and having the space to talk about it, because um, you know. I know, I know it could be either icky or it can be, like, tiresome for people to hear about. But anyway. Um, Porson Piggy says, I don't know. I've just always had chronic joint pain that would, that would lead to terrible pain that would get me nauseous when I started Qigong and... But I started Qigong and reducing inflammatory... And reducing inflammatory foods. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I wonder... Do you know why you have joint pain? I'm sorry to hear about your chronic joint pain. <laughs> Shay comes in with the, I want soup. Oh, Shay. I want to give you soup. Evangelist <laughs> says, when I try to chroma key paint out of my friends and peers. <laughs> you just take the red. <laughs> uh, Shay says, dang, I need your two advice on anti-inflammatory oh yeah both of us i'm sure anti-inflammatory foods and diet you got it girl you got it you gotta go through this pain uh the the least we can do is listen thank you saber like and i i don't want to make it a habit of complaining it's but it is nice to to uh to touch base on this with people who are experiencing similar things as well um and Shay, if I may say, I know that she's, um, this is new for her. This is kind of like a, she's in the, the newer stages of whatever's happening. So it's scary because your family doesn't, like, imagine this. You're like, you're going to do something like really, uh, life altering and it's like super painful and it keeps coming back and it completely stops you in your tracks, but the doctors can't see it. Your friends and family think you're making it up. You know, it's really, it's really hard to deal with. So it's really nice to to be here with each other through this. Um, Kyle says, it's a real thing. Nah, it's a real thing. And there's no need in my mind to make this icky or tabooish thing. You're a, you're a gentleman and a scholar, Kyle. Seriously. I wish more people had that thought, had that approach. Shay says, agreed. Very kind of those people who don't have these issues and, spe and specifically men here. Yeah. Is Qigong like Qigong? I've been doing that for my foot. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, poor Sampiki said, I don't know why, but I have it under control and I don't eat over processed things and stuff. But the Flexi Joint Powder has been such a game changer. What? I've never heard of that Flexi Joint Powder. I'll have to look into that. Um, Superlike says, I got a Qi massage from my teacher last week while I was back and I think it helped a ton. Feels like it's way more healed after getting re-injured in the move. Oh, fuck. That's cool, though. Vigil says, having friends in my adult life who are women has taught me things like don't question the pain cycle. And they make pants with fake pockets. What the fuck? Dude. Dude. Why can't we have pockets yet? Please. <laughs> iPhones keep getting bigger. A pocket stay in 2002. <laughs> what the fuck? But for real, it gets held bad during the lady moments in the month. That's so interesting. Yeah, I wonder if it's hormone driven, um, poor some piggy, if it if it relates to your your period cycle. My joints get really fucked up in the um in if I have a flare up my joints get fucked up, but especially in my periods my joints get messed up. And that's just because of inflammation from um the endo. Kyle, it feels reassuring to know that you're not alone. It does. It really does. That's why it's important to believe your friends when they say they're suffering says saber like yeah the men here are great shay for real for real i know we're all eggs and egg doesn't doesn't isn't limited to gender but in the real world it's it is where there's of course like a lot of narratives on men and women and 
in between and all that it's really nice to come to, to have this space where where um the men are being um compassionate i hope we can return the compassion as well for whatever they're going through that we do not go through um <laughs> shay says i add pockets to my clothes girl you want to see this <laughs> i got these fucking years ago this is gonna be for the fashion friday too years ago i got these uh target was having like a sale on like school pouches you know for like pencils and stuff i like this one um and i also like this one do you know where i'm going with this but i'm gonna attach this to my clothes so i can have an appropriate fucking pouch <laughs> i wanted to make like i don't know maybe like an armored plate skirt looking thing out of pockets or I wanted it to be like attachable and, and detachable pockets. So I can carry shit in my bag. Or I can carry shit on my pants. Vangela <laughs> uh, <laughs> says, the state of pockets like the first time I was shown, I went fucking living at the clothes industry. It's so funny. I don't know why. Um, I know it doesn't look too cute when you have like the, the extra fabric for pockets in the front of girl jeans, but <laughs> it's funny and sometimes they're just sewn sometimes they're just they're not even pockets they're just meant to look they're pocket facades um <laughs> Kyle says wait um Saber Lex says that at one point a few months ago I was carrying around like 14 crystals unknown types just ones I found and figured why not in my pocket at all times along with my wallet and other stuff whoa you must have been heavy <laughs> you're like a, a traveling merch merchant in like video games it's like look at my wares can I offer you a crystal <laughs> yes Kyle I'm gonna be adding mega pouches <laughs> oh my god Saber like all in one pocket where you just like sag into a side just like <laughs> overloaded on one side. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> oh my god. It's a lot of crystals, say we're like. Two smoky quartz, one rose quartz. Oh, I love rose quartz though. Over the summer, Kyle Smith says, I'm going to work on picking up sewing. Maybe I'll just go buy stuff from the thrift store and add in real pockets. Yes! Dude, if you can hand stitch your socks in that pattern you do. Like, you can do anything. I can't wait to see what you make, Kyle. Sewing is... I, I I wouldn't say I'm good at sewing at the fuck all, but I have I know how to use a sewing machine, and that gets me far. I know how to use one setting on a sewing machine, let me be clear. And that gets me very far. I try to make gloves for a music video. <laughs> it turned out so bad. It's really hard to make gloves in socks. Like, I tried to make toe socks and I couldn't fit my toes into any of them. The toe socks just came up to, like, like a little nub. <laughs> like, it was really stupid. Oh, and the and last note, if I may just say for, for the girls in the chat about the, the, the monthly cycles. The thing that I think that a lot of us want people to know, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, but the thing that sucks the most is, like, um, yes, of course we do have to live with it. We have to move on. We have to fucking get used to it. Um, even when it's like high degrees of pain, if you have a condition like some of us do, um, I just wish that men would know and people would know that, and, and women who don't have these conditions would know that we're not weak. Like we're not, we're not just weaker. We're not just like whiny little babies. Like we're able to do a lot with, through a lot of pain and people just don't know that. And so they see the moments that you do break down as like, I would be able to deal with that if I were you. It's like, you have no fucking clue, bro. I'm sorry, is your abdomen full of needles? I don't think so, all right? Is somebody stabbing your kidneys? I didn't think so, you know? Anyway, that's the last thing I'll say about that. Um. Oh, wait. Evangelist says, yeah, the pocket facades. I was shown the other side of the fabric and there was nothing. Nothing. Uh, Superlike says, it was pretty funny when I walked up to my coworkers and said, guess how many crystals I have in my pocket? <laughs> what a line. Kyle Smith says, I'm 
wanting to make a poncho that has like a flower mesh over the top for cosplay. What? That sounds fucking sick. A flower mesh? What does that mean? I hope you do it, because that sounds beautiful. Porcelain Piggy says his crystals are great for safety of the soul and personal safety if needed. Crystal attack. <laughs> he just like throws the rocks at like someone trying to rob him. They're like, oh god. <laughs> We've underestimated our prey. Oh uh, shit, I'm behind the chat again. Uh, surely the sock patcher, sock pa pocket patcher progression. Oh yeah, the, the, the pipeline between sock patcher and pocket patcher. <laughs> It'd be a smooth one, I, I'm sure. Uh, Shay says, that sounds like such an interesting person to meet the interaction. Why are your pockets so full? Oh, a plethora of crystals. I know, honestly. All of you guys are interesting characters. That would be fascinating to meet in real life and in a video game. Uh, Superlike says, I made the cape I wore at Void Ship that required no sewing. Oh, I didn't get a good look of it. Oh my god, Superlike, we need to review that. I need to get back to your email too. Gosh, gosh. So sorry, guys. I got so much to catch up on. Um, um, yeah, Shay, like a level 8 wizard. Only a level 8 wizard would have a, a single pocket full of rocks. I mean, crystals. Um, Kyle says, I used to have a major gallbladder pains and would get gnarly cramps whenever I ate. So, so that helped with some sympathy, I feel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. I wonder, is your gallbladder okay, dude? <laughs> How's your gallbladder, bro? always down to preach some aggressive empathy aggressive empathy no matter who's going through whatever aggressive empathy i love that you will be kind to them <laughs> it's okay i still haven't had time to look at the pics and videos from void ship anyway okay perfect i hope you're settled in too i hope your movie's going well kyle smith when i slam hands on the table and snarl about the one time I had a kidney stone. Oh, bro. Bro. If it's any consolation, I have seen people with kidney stones and endometriosis say that they are um, similar experiences. Um, and also, a cyst rupture from polycystic ovaries has, uh, is apparently on the same pain scale as, uh, what was it? Um, appendix rupture. So, when people say they had a fucking cyst pop, or when they have period pains, it's not just a little ache. It's not a little tummy ache, right? Um, oh, wait, Kyle. Kyle says my gallbladder is long gone. Wow. Damn, bro. Well, I hope, I'm glad you're okay. My, that happened to my brother and my mom, too. They had to take, take their gallbladder out. Isn't that crazy? Why does the, gall, like, why does the gallbladder be acting up like that? I'm sorry you had to go through that though, Kyle. That must have been super fucking painful. Porcelain Piggy said, uh, dude, you guys have some sick quotes today, aggressive empathy. And we're not here to yuck on someone's yum. I know, I know, I know. I need to I need to update the quote of the day and put it put it down here. Let me let me do that real quick. Hold on, please wait. Please hold. And please wait, thank you. Wonderful. Oh, it changed both of them. Oops. Okay. <laughs> like, there's two aggressive entities. Perfect, perfect. That's how aggressive we are. We need it twice. There we go. Um. Cold bladder's getting fired. <laughs> you fired. Uh, and get that gallbladder out of here. Yeah, life is chill now. You don't you don't need it to live. Isn't that crazy too? You can just have these like optional organs. Any good weekend plans coming up? Yeah, those sound like awful experiences. Had a cyst on my back that swelled up like a golf ball size last year. It was painful until it burst. And then I was a walking biohazard and had to wrap myself in towels to be able to get to the doctor. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. <laughs> that sucks, bro. I'm glad you're okay. Glad I didn't go septic or something. 
Yeah, of course we're listening, Kyle. I'm so glad you're okay. I've never had an organ removed. That'd be so scary. Um, Frozen Piggy says, Oh, I'm going to the Frogtown Fleet Crawl by the LA River for the first time. Bro, I've been eyeballing that too. Maybe one day I'll see you down there. That'd be amazing. I hope it goes well. Hope you post about it. Yeah, Shay, I know. That sounds insane. I can't even imagine a golf ball sized cyst on your back. Wow. Oof. That must have been a lot of stuff coming out of that, too. But I'm glad both of you guys are okay. What the fuck? At least I didn't have to lance it, you know? Yeesh. Eebie jeebies. Vangel says, on Friday, I'm going to try to see an exhibit of my friend Jacob's work. Let's go. It's been up for a few weeks. On Friday, they're screening two of his... Wait. Two... Two of his short films. Dude, that's fucking amazing. Congratulations to your friend Jacob. What? I hope you enjoy it. That's so cool. Uh, Superlake says, I look wild because I had to stuff myself... Ew. Stuff myself with all towels into a big huggy. A hoodie. I looked like a hunchback. <laughs> you looked like a hunchback before or after the sits popped. <laughs> the noble pain crew. Uh, I will. I'm hoping to make a sick outfit to wear that day and share for the fast wedding. Oh my god. Porcelain Piggy, that's so cool. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And and uh, Kyle, I don't want to pray, but I also don't want you to think that we're glazing over. I, I don't know when you had your um, gallbladder removed, but... That really must have been crazy. And I hope that, you know, having to not eat such greasy things, I hope that hasn't been too difficult. I, I imagine it might be, though, because most delicious things are very greasy. Um, Superlex says, oh, they, yeah, they had to lance it. They said it wouldn't hurt, but it, they said it would hurt, but it didn't, thankfully. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Enough of that disgusting story. It's insane. We're like... Um, Vangel says, I'm so proud of Jacob. Knowing him, known him since we were in high school, and his path to being a director has been very hard. Holy crap. That must be so cool to see someone develop like that. And to see them overcome things. Are, is this his first two short films? Or is he pretty established in his craft? After... Because I was in the hoodie with towels wrapped around me. <laughs> but friendship is not greasy, says Portsa Piggy. That's true. That's true. We are very, we are very. How would you describe the, 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 Superlex is upside is that I had a physical a few days later and going in then gave me an excuse to get the blood work for it done which is why they discovered my high blood sugar oh dude that is good good yeah that's how they caught the diabetes huh uh Kyle said it was like 11 years ago holy fuck so a while back no I I didn't feel like you were glancing over it I just listen to my body, and I usually have a good gauge on when something will wreck me or not. What happens if you have greasy food, Kyle? Post, post, um, sands, sands the gallbladder. Fangel says he's done a lot of these. Two, sh- a lot of these two shorts are the first one that feel like Jacob has ascended into your. Oh, that's amazing! So he's kind of like entering that golden era. I hope it. I hope it goes amazing. I'm curious about it. I love short films. Shay says, I was thinking whipped, like whipped cream. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like sweet and delicious, but also like, 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 yeah, yeah. Maybe like custardy cream. Yeah, rich and sweet. Okay. Oh my God, I want custard now. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> I think we're going to go to the Japanese store across the street and get a custard. Um, mm. Vangel says, it's kind of brutal and intense, but look up a song for William Bird. By Jacob Wybave. I am interested. Let me see. Let me find it. Um, hold on. A song for... What did you say? A 
song for William Byrd. Song for William Byrd by Hold on. By Jacob Ivy. Oh cool. Wow, well it looks from the outset, it looks awesome. And I will check it out. Um Kyle says Hardy. I know that's aw, more of a taste, but I would summarize it as a satisfying and hearty and heartwarming. Oh, so like like a hamburger helper. Like a, a, a minestrone soup. I like that. Our texture is like flan. Mm. Yep, the effects are usually very upset bowels and pain. Oh, Lord. She's a wheeze. Is there any food, Kyle, that tempts you? Like, that you'll, that you'll, that you'll take the bowel fuckery for? Saber Lex says, I wish we could get, eat custard. I wish I could eat custard, but at least I have hyperphage fantasia, and I can't remember it. Oh, there you go. Okay, you can just relive the experience of custard. Well, there's a way to make sugar-free custard, though. Uh, Shay says it's on YouTube. Show everyone. Yeah, it is. If you just look up uh, the A Song for William Bird um, by Jacob Wybay, it should be on there. I would show it, but I do need to go. So I don't, uh, we don't have time today, but I do want to watch it. So I suggest everybody watch it because ev- we even if his friend is not a direct eggy, he's an eggy by proxy. And we are going to uh, get, it's, it's, it'd be cool to give him confetti as well. Right, Vangelis? Vangelis says it's kind of violent. I'd say just check it out if you're interested. Okay, thank you for the heads up. It's kind of digital distro. Distro. Well, my eggs. From one egg to another. It's been an absolute time. You are all absolute units. I appreciate you so much. Here are my elbows. Thoughts? Concerns? Wait. You want to see my freaky elbows? Thoughts? Concerns? You can't really get a good sense of them. This one you can kind of get. It's kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> Welcome to the freak show. Anyway. <laughs> um, pizza burgers are usually safe, but I risk it. Oh, Indian food like tiki masala can do it too. Oh man, that sucks. These are all delicious. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Jacob is absurdly humble. So yes, please just confetti him and make him suffer. Receive your praise support. Will do. Even harder now. Does um does Jacob have his own YouTube? Because I'm seeing that his video was posted on a bunch of different YouTubes like Rutledge and um, Film Shortage and Soho Film Fest. Um, but uh, yeah, does he have his own release of it? Elbow's just a little bit extra. Elbow envy, minor, simple single axis models. <laughs> they look like they're elbowing. Elbobo. <laughs> Elbobo. That's a cool band name. Elbobo. Jacob is really only on Instagram. Okay, cool. What, what's he on Instagram? Uh, I believe he's ybay.jacob on the gram. Let's see. Ybay Jacob. I will see if I can verify that for you guys. <laughs> Give me a second. Ybay, 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 ybay. I'm sure I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Now, but... Bye-bye, Jacob. I sent him a follow. Yeah, so it is, it is, why we bay, Jacob, and um, I follow them. So you should see that I follow them and know that that is the correct one. Wow, his art looks insane, dude. Yeah, we're gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking send him all kinds of confetti. Don't even worry about it. He's gonna have confetti coming out of his eyeballs. Well, my friends, I believe that this is the time. We've been going for two and a half hours. 
a hearty stream. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming in today. Thank you so much for hanging out and always bringing your confetti and hyping each other up. <laughs> Big confetti to everybody. Um, and, and for making my day. You know, showing up here and hanging out and just being yourselves. It's, it's always a pleasure and, and a delight and an honor. Okay? His art is good, Vandalus. That's so crazy, storyboards like that. Oh, I see the confettis! Goodbye, everybody! Please have a great day with everything you're up to. And we'll see you next week, okay? Bye, everybody! Thank you again! And remember, aggressive empathy, <laughs> but also uh, www.yolkness.com forward slash dream supreme if you haven't already. If you want to give your dream, uh, share your dream so I can make a little book of it and so I can think about your dreams before I go to sleep every night. All right? And make overlays. Okay? <laughs> Congratulations to everybody also on the sweet accomplishments achieved on this first, April 1st. And that, that, ain't, that ain't even any kind of joke. Bye. Oh, satellites, you're still here. And yeah, and again, Kyle and satellites, your items should be arriving. Um, probably in like five days. Maybe, maybe seven given the weekend, but we'll see. 